Let me check real quick the audio and everything. Okay, so first match of tonight is Hakuman against Moryu-san. Moryu-san, the crazy actual player. <laughs> the crazy, crazy actual player. I'm really looking forward to what it is going to do tonight. So let's see how it goes. Yes, yeah. They, they blame the beast. <laughs> blame the beast. Blame it. This room is very cool. Thank you very much, Sijiki san. Really, really appreciate it. I put a lot of effort to make it. <laughs> I spent so much time online getting like uh, money, uh, like uh, online currency just to make it up. So I'm pretty happy. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, dual one, here we go. First match of the night. Did this tourney have 32 players before? Nah, never, but we're working on it. Okay, here we go. Already Moriyu-san is on to doing his signature move, the, uh, how do you call it? The, um, the, uh, I forgot the name, the, the command grab. Okay, so here you go. He got a wall break. He didn't use it. Oh, he couldn't actually use his, um, his overdrive in order to get the hard knockdown, but it's still okay. Oh, here we go. Keeping Hakuman away and still managing to get the uh, the, uh, the command grab, man. Okay, he tried to use the world, but unfortunately, Hakuman was aware of it and guarded perfectly well right there. Okay, you can see that Moriyu Shine is really trying to poke a little bit, try to see whether or not Hakuman will be dashing, and right there, he was able to catch him off guard. First round goes to Hak uh, not Hakuman, to Moriyu. Okay, here we go. Let's see how it goes. Very nice entire from Moriyu san right there, prevented his opponent from getting any close. Okay, here we go. Boom! Here we go. The change of direction from Hakuman. Very nice onslaught right there. Really not letting his opponent even, like, take a sweat or anything. Okay, here we go. Very nice hard knockdown right there. How will Morisan go? Oh, he tried to grab him, but it was a little tatty bit too far from it. Okay, here we go. Okay, very nice. Morisan, something I really like from his gameplay is he's not passive, you know. He will definitely dash right in your face, even though Axel is supposedly a, um, well, a character that uh, is here to to um not to um to zoom basically another attempt to get the command grab right there and still still Akuma didn't take the bait and right there he Akuma was able to get uh, low off of Moriusan who actually resorted to uh well uh, using a high okay very nice uh, air attack from Moriusan with the signature move. The jumping H, uh, H has that everybody likes. <laughs> everybody loves this move. Okay, very nice, uh, very nice recognition from Akuma who sees that Moriusan tends to, uh, well, basically run towards his opponent at the end of a block string. And very nice stuff from Hakuman. He probably got the kill right there. Good stuff. Good stuff from Hakuman. Oh, uh, really? Oh, uh, uh, okay. Well, Sora might be a little bit. Let me check real quick. Okay. Let me check, check real quick. Dravon, uh, he'll be there in maximum five minutes. He sent me a, a mail on uh, sent me a mail on um, on Discord. No reason. Just just wait a bit. He sent me a mail to tell that he he'll be a little bit uh, a little bit um, uh, delayed. So it's okay. Perfect. That's cool. And thanks. In worst case scenario, we'll be uh, streaming your uh, your your matches as well. <clears throat> okay, very nice stuff from Ong, but not Ong San, I'm sorry, from Moriyu San, keeping his opponent at bay, really doing a good job of really just keeping him out, you know? Yeah, because yeah, if you're actually you definitely don't want <laughs> Giovanna right in your face. Nice stuff from Hakuma, not dropping anything today, like very, very nice stuff. It's really the worst case here. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not the worst case, I actually want to see your matches, so uh, that would actually favor, that would be uh, in favor of me. Uh, okay, anyways, very nice conversion from Hakuma, he's really, really on point today. Like, he tends to usually drop his combos, but today not one combos was dropped. Okay, I think Moriyu signed the opportunity to close it out right there, but probably he failed to really recognize that he had it. Very nice use of the overdrives right there to, uh, well, basically he mashed it. He mashed it, but it worked, so it's it's good. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. By the way, Hakuman got one on the board. I should have pressed this before. Okay, very nice stuff right there. Nice zoning from Moriyu san really refuses to get Hakuman. Uh, in his vicinity, but unfortunately, as I said, this Hakuman found the way in. But it's not necessarily because Moriyu san was trying to keep Giovanna out, it was because Moriyu san was trying to go on the offensive right there. And another command grab right there from Moriyu in the world. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this wall with your face. That's what he's saying right now. Good stuff from Moriyu. Ah, 
Wow, very nice use of the... Oh, but he didn't... Well, that's that's how good for you. He didn't continue his combo, unfortunately. Probably didn't believe he was able to uh, convert off of it. Well, Gary go on slot right there. He's really mixing his his timing right there to try to get Moriusan to sleep a bit and to press buttons. Okay, and here we go. Moriusan puts one on the board. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice stuff from Moriusan. Really not... Uh, he's not being passive, you know. He's, he's the crazy Axel player, Moriusan is. The crazy Axel player. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, next up, let's see how it goes. Mm. There we go. Okay, on to the third uh, match, basically, of tonight's of tonight's tournament. Skimashita! Yay! That's good to hear, Aung San. So you can uh, go and proceed to... Uh, Yo, how are you doing, Sora? It's okay, don't worry. I... I uh, J'ai meublé le temps. T'inquiète, y'a pas de soucis. <laughs> no, no, it's not bad, man. T'inquiète, t'inquiète. No suicide. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Oh, there you go. So, you have to fight against Aung San. Yes. Yes, I'm going to move and look. Ça marche, ça marche. À tout. Oh, here we go. Very nice stuff from Hakuman. He's on point today, really, like, giving Moryu a very good run for his money right there. So I feel like Hakuman has definitely improved compared to his uh, previous runs in the tournament, doing some cheeky stuff just like this, right? Like, double dash into the grab. This is something that Hakuman didn't really uh, do, and he wasn't... He used to be very, very, like, uh, onto being as safe and as clean as possible. But not necessarily now, which is a good thing, actually. Trying to schnapps, as we say in French. Very nice, very nice confirm right there from Hakuman. Good stuff. So he gets the heavy knockdown. Will he get the kill? No, and the yellow Roman cancel and cheeky grab right there from Moyu-san didn't say his last word. And here we go. Hakuman on fire tonight. He puts a second one on the board. On to the next match. Let's see how it goes. Good stuff. Yeah. Hakuma is on, on freaking fire today. Good stuff. Oh, here we go. On to the fourth match. Whoa, did you see this? This small micro walk into the 2S right there from Hakuma. Good stuff. And Morisan, aware that uh, Hakuma tends to uh, dash on him quite a lot and use the, uh, I, the lasso. I don't know how you call this attack, but basically prevented him from coming closer thanks to it. Okay, very nice attempt to 2 HS and wow, the backdash from Hakuma to go over the 2 HS and right there, the overdraw to punish the uh, gap in the block string of Hakuma. Moyusan is catching up on something right there. Very nice. This was very, very, very one sided right there. This round was. But still, we, Hakuma hasn't said his last word. We can definitely count on it. Wow, this air are in favor of Moyusan, but unfortunately, he extended a little bit too much and got grabbed by Hakuma. Very nice. Change the over uh, the cross up. I'm sorry. Okay, he tried to snaps him with a freaking overhead right there. Unfortunately, Hakuman was aware of it. Fuzzy guarded. Okay, here we go. The onslaught is here. Okay, here we go. Morisan better be really careful because his wrist bar is out of the out of this world right now. Okay, it's going slowly, ever so slightly down. Another, <laughs> another, another command grab. Morisan is like the king of the command grab. Oh, here we go. The world, and he didn't get cat caught by it, but ooh. And the Hail Mary did it. Hit! It did! Okay. It did hit. Good stuff from Hakuman made it safe though. I don't think it, it maybe it wasn't the best solution. The command grab for the win. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going on to the final match of this encounter. This is freaking crazy. Very starting this tournament in very, very uh, dy dynamic, not dynamic, I would say, but um in expl in an explosive fashion, if I might say. Good stuff from uh, Morisan on DJ's <laughs> on DJ's theme, nevertheless. <laughs> oh shit! I uh, ooh, ooh, uh, shoot! Not shit. Shit is not an acceptable word. Just one second, guys. Ah. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so Hakuman once more into the game, but, oh, okay, well, actually, <laughs> Morisan was able to shake him off and uh, to exchange places with him, which uh, awarded him with a, uh, well, basically a wall break right there. Very nice stuff from him. Okay, here we go. No fear from this man. Agman just dashing into his opponent, just bringing two S's, not two S's, uh, close S'ing him. But right there, unfortunately, yes, this was way too much Knowledge from Moyu right there, who found the perfect answers to all of the onslaughts of Hakuman. But still, it's not over. 
it can go either ways, especially since Hakuman will have his burst in a couple of seconds, if not more. But Moni is suddenly just on with the freaking with, on with the on with the onslaught, and he's he's reading everything that Hakuman is doing right now. Oh, oh, and the counter and on the two as oh, and the grab. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, the world. Oh, the world. Oh, the world almost didn't hit. Is this it? Nah, it's not. It's not it. Okay. So Hakuman has one more chance to get back on track. He needs to be flawless and unfortunately get hit by the uh, jumping two uh, oh. times. I think he participated to actually every single one of our Brojo Cups. So very faithful, I would say. I absolutely adore this player and I'm uh, definitely rooting for him tonight. Playing against a newcomer, actually. I've never had the opportunity to see Mamiya-san uh, playing in uh, in our in our tournament. But uh, anyways, I'm looking forward to it as well. Early burst from Kakiru, not Kakiru, it was from Mamiya-san right there. Oh, definitely Algamon. Well, yeah, we definitely need to uh, to play against each other. Taito gambare. Arigato gozaimasu, Yoginato-san. So, such a nice word. Oh, okay, Gary, go. Very nice stuff from Mamiya-san right there. Really keeping Kakiru san out. But still, like, uh, health-wise... Ah, health-wise is definitely in kakiru sans favor right now. Uh, the onslaught from kakiru san is real and boom! And you gonna eat this, Mishita! <laughs> very nice stuff from Mamiya-san. Damn! Being very aggressive right there. There was an attempt from kakiru san to try to punish the recovery from the behemoth right there, but it was a little bit too late. Right there, he's being cornered, but you can see Mamiya-san just, like, really taking his time and not like overextending or anything overhead right there and that was pretty much it yeah once once the big guy has you in the corner and you don't have any freaking bar tension it's really hard for you to get him off if only i can join this for me but i can't yeah that's for further where, where are you bryce said by the way i'm sorry i probably asked you this once uh, before very nice stuff from iad right there from mamiya san into the, be the flying behemoth if i might say oh okay Kakuto not afraid of pressing buttons right there like no no i'm not afraid of just just five issing you right there far issing you okay attempt from uh to six uh p from uh mamiya san right there didn't really understand why but it's okay anyways here we go on start from Kakuto san really determined to get this one he's probably gonna get it if he doesn't fill his dust which he doesn't obviously Good stuff from Kageyo-san, puts it, well, puts another, puts a round on the board right now. Potentially uh, taking the next one, but very bad start. <laughs> a pretty bad start uh, of the round by kageyo san right there. Mamiya-san being very, very aggressive right there, but still takes a freaking vortex to the face. And wow, yeah, no fear from this man just to, like, take... Uh, take uh, to the air and try to land on kageyo san Wow, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna, hurt. This is gonna definitely hurt. Yeah, we can see that. Yeah, if this wasn't like the health pool of of um, of uh, Gold uh, Gold Lewis, yeah, this would have probably killed in, in any other character. Philippines, unfortunately, because I'm very close. But you can participate if you're from Philippines, Bryce. I don't think it would be problematic. And yes, Mamiya takes Mamiya San takes it, puts one on the board, but still very very close round right there from um, from Kakyo San. Very very close. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Second round, second match, I'm sorry. Will kakiru san adapt and dominate his opponent? Very big, well, very, um, very, uh, feisty <laughs> aer aerial behemoth, if I might say. Wow, oh, no, no fear of this man. He's not afraid of getting DP. He just runs and grabs you and gives you these very, very bad head headbutts. Okay, here you go. Early burst. Not really early, actually. Panic burst, I would say, from mamiya san trying to get... Kakiru-san off of his, off of his, um, well, off of him, basically. Oh, okay, big behemoth right there on counter hit. Couldn't uh, capitalize off of it. Wow, very big bit. <laughs> oh my god, Kakiru-san not afraid of just, just running and doing 6 HS, which is supposedly not punishable. I play people from China, South Korea, Japan, Singapore, there's no problem. Oh, well, well, you can. You know, we, we do have people from Singapore in this, uh, in this tournament. So you can definitely participate for the, the starting next time, man. Don't hesitate. The Tokyo Philippines is okay, man. Uh, uh, just one question. Do you have, uh, fiber? Do you have fiber? Do you have, uh, how do you call it? Hikari fiber, I forgot. The uh, light fiber? Not light fiber. I forgot. Internet fiber. Do you have fiber? If you have fiber and you're wired, you can participate, no problem. But this is the two requirements I, I, I asked from you. Just to have fiber and uh, to be wired. That's all. Very nice stuff from kakeru san right there. Puts a one round on the board and still not dead until you're dead. ICFC allows Philippines, but with certain ISPs only. Okay, okay. Which which uh, ISPs would that be? Do, are you aware of it, Aung San? If you are, then uh, just let me know. 
But uh, my requirement would just be to be fiber, to have fiber, and to uh, to be wired. If you're fi you have fiber and you're wired, it's okay. You can participate. For if you're in Asia, that is. If you're not, then yeah. If Europe is out, Africa is out, uh, America is out. Only only Asia. Oh, here we go. So Kaguya san very very gonna take it. Actually, very very cheeky. <laughs> A very cheeky Roman cancel right there. That was pretty good. Good stuff from Kagosan. Puts one on the board. These are really close matches, these uh these, uh, these past one. Yo, how you doing, Sora? Yeah, I have fiber, but I joined you before not a tourney, but it just didn't work. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe next time that I play, uh just let me know we can do a test. A test just to see if you can join or not. Maybe they they maybe they, they solve the uh the, the problems of joining lobbies and stuff. We can check it out next time, Bryce. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Takakuya san puts one on the board as well. So we have a real match right there. One match apiece. And Mamiya san on the this onslaught. Yeah, man. That hurts so freaking much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Wow, the big, a big 5S in your face. Yeah. The counter hurts so much, man. It's so crazy. I'd be happy to do a network test with you too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Ooh, we can. I'm we can. The court that got, get grabbed. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Go That's ahead, okay. No worries. I was just responding to chat, but it's okay. It's okay. No worries. What this big five HS counter hit right there? You can see the the freaking health melting and the overdrive. Oh man, your face! <laughs> get off of me! <laughs> we didn't see the. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 I was so scared. I was so scared it was not gonna hit. I was so scared for Kakiru-san. That was OD. What happened right there? This is definitely going in the highlight. <laughs> Okay. That was pretty yeah, awesome. Togo-san is like putting a little bit of pressure. Gold Lewis is trying to zone with his uh, uh, Typhoon. So it doesn't work. He's in the corner, manages Yay! to get a counter. And this is going to be a lot of damage. Oh my fucking yeah. god. Look at that fire. Ah, oh, damn. Here we go. Here we oh go. my god. Did he put in the corner and put a counter hit. Oh, He's again. Burst orders. Oh. Okay. Okay, he's he still. Oh, he was still. Yeah. He was Here still uh, safe on this one. Oh, Gary, okay, he got finally he got Mamiya-san cornered right there. Is he gonna be able to finish his sandwich? We will see right now. And ooh, he almost got Behemoth in the oh. face right there. Oh, ooh. <laughs> what the, what? I don't understand what interaction. Me neither. I don't know. Uh, oh, did you see this? Yeah. This was, was such a good read. This was that was such a good read, and you're dead. Yes. That Goodbye. was. Oh, D. Kakeru-san is really putting up a. Freaking awesome show right there, giving us a lot of clips right now. Good stuff from him. Very good stuff from Mamiya-san also. Really reading the uh, parts where Kakeru Togo-san wants to get in and using Behemoth to keeping him in out. So yeah, good stuff from Mamiya-san as well. Oh okay. yeah. But unfortunately, he is really struggling in the pressure that Kakeru Togo-san is putting in. He's not finishing his uh, staggers or his uh, reset strings. And it feels, oh my god, okay, this is gonna be a lot of damage. You're stuck on the wall, you're gonna get wall broken, that's... Yeah, that's gonna be a little bit rough for you. Oh, and, and as you can see, oh, the recovery no. of the 6 HS was... Oh, and this time around, Kakeru-san does yeah. not get hit by the uh, wake-up over drive. No meurs pas sans ton pif, and this time around, unfortunately... Well, he didn't die with his pif, but he died nevertheless. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay, big gun flame right there, trying to keep Mamiya-san in the corner, doesn't want him out, but unfortunately the worst... Okay, panic DP right there from Kakeru-san, let's call it a re-DP right there. Ooh, Mamiya-san has two bars! You, Yeah, don't get cornered, don't get cornered, don't get cornered! Don't get vortex! Exactly. Okay, this... Kakeru-san threw out like three vortexes in a row, but this dude is insane! Exactly, man, he's been using vortex so many times, it's crazy, like... Oh, good stuff right there from Kagiru-san, gets the... Uh, oh, he got the counter hit! Oh. Okay, both really don't want to lose right there. Oh, and a big behemoth to the face right there. <laughs> this move hurts so much. Uh, it must hurt so freaking much. Good stuff from Amiya-san. It's been like this, man. They, their every single matches has been one round a piece, one match a piece, up until the final match. It's crazy, dude. I, I'm happy that I seed it so good. <laughs> Anyways, oh, big behemoth to the face right there. And Mamiya-san puts one on the board as well. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we are going again to the next, the final match of this uh, set right there. This is, uh, this is, this is great seeding from my part. <laughs> okay, anyways, here we go. Well, is, um, yeah, here we go. The final <laughs> match. I think, I think Kakarotogo might have the advantage on this one. Look at that whiff punish. Oh my god. Yeah, nice that whiff punish was OD already. right there. But Mamiya-san is not to be, uh, yeah, to be trifled with at all. As you can see, right now he's starting to pick up on the, the use of oh. the, of the, uh, the vortex. And it, yeah, wonderfully well punished right there from Mamiya-san, by the way. Uh, and a nice conversion as well. Uh, still manages to keep Kakarotogo-san in the corner, which is, like, pretty hard to do. <laughs> yeah, definitely. The Ah, uh, with all things considered, right there. And the conversion! He did it! Oh, and the Kakiru san! The Kakiru san! The run up grab! <laughs> okay, here we go. Possibly final uh, match, uh, pi final match of. Uh, final round, I'm sorry. Of this uh, of this set, let's see how it goes. A very big advantage from Kakiru san is gonna get the wall break right there. He still has one bar of tension, no burst though, still, so it's really anybody's game. Oh, right now, Mamiya san does have burst. If he doesn't burst right now, oh, okay, he's out of the woods, but he doesn't have any burst right now. No, oh, and the punish on the VP. This might, be, this might be something that will turn the uh, uh, momentum of the game, but I'm gonna do Ready, go for it. No, stop. He gets clipped by the Titan. Oh, and the Vortex and the grab from the game as well. That so cheeky grab. That won a couple of uh, tournaments already, if I'm correct. So this guy is definitely very, very strong. Okay, let's see how it goes. <clears throat> okay, perfect. Starting right now, so... Will Sora start with the DP? No, it's not the case. Okay, immediate start of Takashi trying to close the gap between him and Sora. Why? Here we go, emergency DP. All ready by Sora being very, very quick on the DP and on the burst as well. Here we go, optimized combo right there to get the, yeah, the wall break. He doesn't have a bar of tension, but it's still okay. He gets the positive bonus right there. Oh, okay, very nice fights right there from, uh, from Sora. Okay, that was that was uh, stream. Oh, and the DP right there. No, you do not jump over me, Mister. Oh, an attempt to grab him right there. Unfortunately, he got, yeah, he got, he got punished. Yeah, really accordingly. Even change position. He's gonna get another wall break into another positive bonus. <clears throat> okay, both return to the neutral. Use of the dive right there from. Sora does, didn't really get anything out of it, unfortunately, right there, and the, the air grab right there from Sora, oh, and Takashi, who's aware, who's aware that Sora wanted to uh, resort to using the change of position right there, the charge, I don't even know how you call it, but it's okay. Oh, here we go, Tsuburu, no, oh, right there, freaking Fafnir in your face. Okay, yeah, Sora is really in dire straits right there, really fighting for his right to get out of the corner, but Takashi just, like, preventing him from doing so. Like, he's saying, no, you're staying there, and very nice patience from Takashi, who immediately punished the DP right there, and... Wow, that, that was very, very decisive. This round was, yeah, definitely Takashi's right there. Good stuff from him. Good stuff. Puts one on the board. Let's see how the following goes. Okay, one gun flame in your face and just run up and grab you. That's the good old way that you should be doing stuff. So. Okay, <laughs> this, this stare down right there went in favor of Sora, but unfortunately, immediately after this, he gets a burst from Takashi and, and then uh, gets comboed right, right now. Very nice stuff from Sora, not afraid of extending his stuff and gets the overdrive. Boom! Here you go. The Iron Bokeh! <laughs> That's how I called it. Wow, he tried to snap him right there, just run up and grab, but now, unfortunately, that was no, this is probably gonna do. Yeah, this is definitely gonna do. Unfortunately, Sora. Gonna, yeah, he, was, he was leading, but yeah, unfortunately, Takashi got the better of him right there. Puts one, uh, one round on the board right now. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Good stuff from both. Let me just check the other brackets, if you please. Mm. Okay, let me... Yeah. Here we go. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> and... 
Takashi puts one on the board right now. Good stuff for the uh, second one, actually, on the board. <clears throat> okay, very quick uh, stuff from Takashi, really making good use of the 2S to uh, prevent his opponent from just running straight up to him. And he even resorts to punishing the dive with the 2 6 speed right there. Good stuff from Takashi. Really got, yeah, he got like Sora pinned in the corner, preventing him from making any sort of advancement on him. And he's really, really on point with his 6P as well. Just immediately, as soon as he sees Sora in the, in the air, like just freaking, like, entiring him right away. And here we go, Fafnir into the wall break. Sora really, his health hanging by a sliver, a slight, yeah, and here we go. Perfect. This is a statement right there from Takashi, really. Just straight up, like, preventing from his opponent from doing any sort of, um, of comeback. Like, yeah, very being oppressive right there. Finally, Sora finally gets a grab, and again, Takashi reads, reads the, 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 the grab attempt from Sora, and just bag that, and here we go, the DP. Uh, the, yeah, this, and death right there from Sora. Good stumbling, oh. I'd say. <laughs> you use the max items, 50-50. Yeah, I maxed it all out, man. I've got all, every single item. I did mine on PC recently. Nice, man. That's cool. And I maxed it out, yeah. I maxed out. I used every single item that I could. So, yeah, it's completely maxed out. Okay, so here we go. So, on to this match, I think. Uh, yeah, these two definitely played against each other before. I do believe Sunlight uh, won last time. But uh, yes. Moriu did, uh, was able to... Uh, to defend himself quite um, quite efficiently, so it's definitely not any anybody's game right now. Probably Moriusan came up with some strategies to defeat uh, Ghost as well, so we'll see. But Ghost is very very good. Like he's a very strong player with very good reads, as you can see right now. He knew that Moriusan was gonna use the uh, burst and punished him accordingly. Right, a huge damage right there. Well, good damage for. <laughs> Good damage for Nagoro Yuki. We can this. We definitely saw worse than this. <laughs> yeah, I remember he almost one shot at somebody. So you know. Man, poor Faust. Poor Faust. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. The double oh, Fukyo into the nice. command grab right there. But Morisan knew. So what he did is just punish him. Good stuff from Morisan. He's gonna yeah. He's gonna get the uh the wall break. break. Okay, both uh. Both players. Oh, and the air grab, and you did. <laughs> and you did. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was so good. That was pretty OD. Good stuff from uh, Sunlight, but still, Morisan is definitely not out of the game yet. He still has a lot of opportunities to get back. And here we go, just him running over and just 2D him, 2 ding his opponent right there. Very nice stuff from Morisan. Gets the punish on the 2 HS. Oh, here we go. We are going into. Zoning time, the double uh, aerial attack right there from Moriusan. He's definitely. Is he gonna get it? Yeah, he's gonna get it. No, almost. <laughs> the OTG doesn't kill, but he still manages to get the mix up. Exactly. Oh, the blue RC, that was really, really good from him. Good stuff from Moriusan, just keeping his head clear. Oh, Gary go Fukio, unfortunately. Takes him. Yeah, oh, man. nice grab from Moriu. Oh, nice, nice grab. Oh, yeah, no, nice. bad grab. <laughs> nice grab, but bad grab. <laughs> he's exactly. almost going to be able to break the wall now. He's trying to put the, to put him in the corner, try to apply as much damage as he can, and he's going to wall break right now. Uh, sunlight is in the middle. Ooh, and the command grab for the win. The crazy Moriu, man. Grab. The crazy Moriu back on his feet, <laughs> man. It's special. He sleeps. You sleep on the command grab, and as yeah. soon as you forget that it exists, you exactly. get it immediately. And Moriu-san is a master. Is a master of the use of the command grab with Axel. Usually, I think he probably has like a seventy-five percent to eighty percent catch rate with his uh, his uh, his uh, his command grab. Command He's, grab yeah. Oh, it's crazy. He's so good at it. He's probably the best Axel player when it comes to commanding grab uh, his opponent. Command grabbing his opponent. Okay, but while I say this, unfortunately, he's in the corner right there and got air grabbed by Sunlight. Damn, that read, man. Good stuff from Sunlight. Yeah, that was a pretty good read from Sunlight. And he just, like, basically controlled the entire face of the, ma uh, the, the round there. Okay, here we go. Moriusan still pressing buttons. Definitely does not want to get command grab himself. Okay, big dust right there. Okay, decent damage for Nago, at least. Uh, well, decent damage for in, in, in general, I think. Oh, okay, here we go. No, oh, get fart slash from Ghost. Couldn't catch his opponent, though. 
Because, yeah, probably Axel is the only character that has a farther reach than Sunlight. Uh, not Sunlight, than, uh, than Nagoya Yuji. Very nice. Yep. The world, I'm going to break your ass. <laughs> I'm going to break the wall with your ass. Here you go. Good stuff from... <laughs> Good stuff from... Get some promoter, but he gets two HS right there and the is counter, yeah. do big counter hit right there was able to uh well to um to convert from the counter hit two HS into the Beyblade. Good awareness yeah. from Sunlight. I I I thought that it was not gonna connect, but that's character knowledge and the combo knowledge for Mew. Good stuff from Sunlight. Puts one on the there board. No, uh, 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 Moria Sun is like trying to commit to control the map as much as possible, but gets to H, doesn't matter. Everything that you did will move. Again, another counter hit with a 5 H is gonna be carried in the corner because the combo drops, so he gets another chance. Ooh, and the command grab! Nice awareness from Moria Sun. This is gonna hurt like a mother humper. This is gonna hurt so much. Oh no! Oh, and the Axel Bomber, no! One too many! One too many Axel Bombers, no! Modius are not like this! Oh, that's so unfortunate! Five last time, I'm gonna do seven this time, I don't care! Oh, uh, but it's okay, but you have to try, I think, like, seriously. If he had succeeded, he would've won, nevertheless, so... It was definitely worth, worth trying, I think. Ah, but yeah, unfortunately right there, he's back yeah, in the corner, but very work. nice grab right there from Moriusan has been on point with this as well. You should play Sunlight a grapper, I feel. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Good Sunlight stuff from like keeping his burst as much as possible. He's trying like to resist in the corner, Ooh. maybe the burst is gonna come soon. No, and again, no. again, <laughs> Moriusan again and gets oh, command oh, grabbed and this is... Ooh, did you see the back dash on the Beyblade? Uh, Damn, that was crazy. Good. Good, st good okay. stuff from Moriusan. Okay. Okay. Moriusan is really not committing ah, to any damn action, but now that he gets Too bad. opened up, good stuff Blade from Sunlight. A for the block. Unfortunately, um, yeah, that didn't really work out for him. Yeah, unfortunately, but still okay. He still has one more chance actually to uh, try to put one on the board as well and for the pretty bad start. But it's okay. Oh, he has tension bar right now. This might. Okay. Okay, he's Bruce wants to try and... Nice counter hit, nice opening. Now, maybe he'll get something going on, but he does nothing on the wake up option for Nagori Yuki, so he's stuck okay. in the corner. Okay, good counter hit right there. The world put some... Decentral... Oh, okay, he's just gonna... Okay, that, that's yeah, pretty switch. smart. That was pretty smart. Switch. Nice side okay. switch right <laughs> there and baits the... And baits the... Yeah, the boost is not gonna come, maybe... Maybe... Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't... I don't... I don't think it's a good idea to burst here, plus like, uh, Moriya-san did a really good job to do, like, uh, burst safe. Ooh, the dust strength. gets punished! So bad! Uh, okay, here we go. Trying to go back in a position where- Oh my god, that was so- That was- I was so scared. <laughs> I was so scared. That was really close. That was like a horror movie right there, just, you know, Nagori Yuki just warping right in front of your face. That was freaking horror movie. And the big, the, the dust, the fully charged dust right there, this would have been huge. Okay, but this is gonna be huge as well. And full oh, dust, yeah, right? Oh my god, so look at the damage! damage. Yeah, look at the damage. damage! Oh my god! Is he dead? No, no, he's not. He's not dead. 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 Not dead. He's not. He's not dead. Oh my god! Look at the damage! This is freaking crazy, man! His life evaporated. Evaporated so crazy. Okay. Oh my god! Is that even normal? Like seriously. Okay, you can see, yeah, oh, and going yeah, air to air, like saying, no, stop dancing it. in front of me. Good stuff from Sunlight right there. Oh my god, I'm so... This must be so heartbreaking, you know? Gets hit once and yeah. you don't have life anymore, like, seriously, it's crazy. Okay, very nice. <gasps> nice conversion! That was pretty cool from Mario, good stuff. And Okay, so this beats the, um, the zone. Oh, okay, my god, did you see this? Just backdashes on the freaking Beyblade. This is the second time he does this, by the way. Good stuff from Moriusan again brings a board to try to get the world and yeah, unfortunately couldn't get it. Ah, and again the two Beyblade, yeah, the, the two Fukus are really really are breaking him right now, yeah. He needs to be aware that the second Fukyu is not safe. You can you can you can punish it. Okay, Wasude Yuki right there gonna get the uh, the the hard knockdown. Let's see how it plays. Ah and the 6P counter hit and sunlight takes it. Very convincingly, that's basically it, but I had a lot of them, basically. I had like probably six or seven 
six six dogs up until now. Uh, some of them dying, of course, and some new ones uh, coming, you know. Sigimasen, okuri. Ah, daijoubu desu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. And uh, yeah, I had one cat though. But I did have a lot of dogs. I love dogs. I'm a dog person, personally. Okay, so this time around, this uh, match is going to oppose Kakiru Togo-san against Zero, the crazy, the crazy Nagori player. Yo, you're from the Caribbean as well. Yeah, I, well, uh, my, my, I, I, my father is half Caribbean. Well, he's Caribbean, let's say. And uh, basically, I spent most of my childhood in the Caribbean, in St. Martin. And I had a lot of uh, freaking dogs over there. What about you, Hagman? You're also from Caribbean. Now here we go, big, wow, this is gonna hurt like a mother of a look at the, oh, oh, did you see this man, he's in and out, the Fukio in and out, I don't care, this, this, this is zero, this is Fukio, I am half Trinidad, oh, okay, okay, that's cool, that's cool, cool man, that's awesome, but yeah, Caribbean man, I miss the Caribbean, a bit, uh, not too much though, but I do miss it a bit, okay, and here we go, so for you guys, for you guys who don't know Zero, Zero is, he has a curse on him. He is forced to blood rage at least once in a match. Whatever happens, he's forced to yeah, blood rage. Yeah, so true. I completely <laughs> forgot about that. Definitely. It's his curse. Like, he has to blood rage at least once in a match or, or something's wrong. Or, yeah, it's his curse, basically. Okay, big stuff from Takeru Togo-san. Puts one on the board, right? Well, one, one round on the board. Let's see how the final round goes. Yeah, very strong uh, first round by Zero, and right there recipro reciprocated by Kakeru Togo-san. Oh, here you go, close S right there. You are staying in the corner. Okay, careful with the blood rage, Zero. Careful with the blood rage. Yeah, he's gonna go hammered there. Yeah, he doesn't care about the blood rage. He never cares yeah. about the blood rage. Exactly, yeah. He's the Sasuke of, uh, of Guilty Gear, man. <laughs> okay, here you go, big combo right there. Not too big, uh, still uh, thinks... Oh my god, do you see the in-out, in-out, man? I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> okay, the big, the big DP from Kagito Gosan said, "I will make you care." <laughs> Good step from him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh. Ah, okay, okay. So Kotone, I see. Okay, Kakiru san was waiting. Okay, so what happened right there is that I think I I told it uh, last time also, but uh, uh what's his name? <laughs> Nago san, Nagoriyuki san, Nagoriyuki san. What the hell? <laughs> Nagoriyuki can uh, prevent uh blood rage by. Uh, what's it called? By FDing. Uh, no, no, faultless defense, I guess, exactly. So as long as he has tension, he can just use the bar of tension and FD, and he will not go in blood rage. That's the reason why uh, Zero right there was doing this strange motion all the while using FD right there. So just for information. Is blood rage even bad? It's super bad, man. Well, yeah, it's definitely bad because uh, Nagoyuki loses half of his life, uh, guaranteed. Uh, when you are before you head before you end up uh, being into blood rage, right before it, if you use FD, you can uh, you you'll stop being in blood. I don't know how to say it, but it'll it'll prevent the blood rage state. It won't make the the, the bar go down, but it will uh, delay the blood rage state. That's what I'm saying basically. Using FD when you hit blood rage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Ah, okay, so you're asking uh, whether it's worth spending the meter or not. Yeah, this I don't know personally. I don't know, yeah. You'd need to ask uh, Sunlight, I guess. Okay, good stuff from Zero. Really, putting another one on the board. I've been talking all this all this time and I didn't even see it. Okay, good stuff from Zero right there. Puts another one on the board and <laughs> it is... It, it's, it might be possible that Kakiru-san and Hakuman-san play against each other again. <laughs> okay, here we go. Gunflame right there. Big stuff from... Kakeru san! Immediately exactly. Of course. The quarter now. I should really shut up when it comes to like uh, saying whether or not a, a character Ooh, or a, a, a player is doing good or not. Oh, if they do, don't know, yeah. Or well, if you know they are going to kill you, I hold it for burst meter. Okay, okay. Oh, a big DP right there, and this yeah. is gonna do, yeah, boom! Oh, why no 6 HS? If you did 6 HS, it would have killed, I'm sure. Okay, very nice, uh, what's it called, uh, frame trap, uh, bl um, bl how do you say it? Gun, gun flame, I'm sorry, I forgot the name of this freaking, <laughs> this freaking move. Anyone here hype about Slayer? Uh, Slayer hasn't been announced, right? <laughs> no, Is it? No, yeah. No. So, unfortunately, it can't be, 
We can't be hype about something that hasn't Ooh, been announced. Gonna, this is gonna this is gonna really hurt. This oh, is this is gonna hurt as well. Out oh, here we go. Yeah, overdrive in your face. Kushling! But there is a meaty setup of air throw in the corner. Okay, okay. Oh okay, yeah, your life is gone. But yeah, Kakiru-san has two bar of tension right there. Very nice use of one at least to try to make it so that zero um well does not continue. His onslaught, very nice 5k right there. Bike and hype is real. Ooh, that DP. Hello. Yeah, Kakiru-san definitely. Oh, and the bait of the burst. Yeah, this I is gonna this kill. Is gonna be this dead. is gonna yeah, yeah this is death. Gonna yeah, this is death. Bye bye. Ah, this is gonna hurt. Bye bye. Good stuff from zero. Very, very nice job. Very nice job from zero. Really recognizing where the damage is from and uh, basically um, just using his resources efficiently. Ooh, I now. sense, I sense blood rage. I sense blood rage. I sense blood rage. I sense blood yeah. rage. Oh, you're not the only one. Or not, or not, or not. Ooh, that was so cool. Ah, Fukio, out. Oh, careful. Careful. Yeah, okay. that's right. This Kakiru Togo-san is like really balls deep right now in his office yeah. because he knows that uh, a lot of things cannot be done from uh, zero side. So exactly. yeah, Ooh. He, Ooh, I thought he was going to win. This is not going to kill. Yeah, this is not going to kill, unfortunately. But oh my god, just down. wake up in 5S? Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> he wake yes. up 5S and right over. after he confirmed into the, the overdrive. Are you serious? Damn! Okay. Oh my god, that was crazy! And of course, crazy zero. Majio <laughs> Hey, okay, so moving on to uh, the final uh, match of top eight right now. Opposing player against Yukinato right there. And Yukinato decided to use Potemkin. So yeah, I'm uh, gonna see how it goes. So here we go. Player Sun, a very, very strong soul player. Probably the best we've had on this. Uh, on this tournament as actually he's been uh, consistently either winning or uh, ending in second place so yeah he's def definitely very very strong okay bended barrier right there you can have sun oh okay no command grab right there you also think biking is hard to play uh, I really don't know I've never played her so I don't really I can really say much but from what I understand is she hard to play uh, Sora, uh, you might know more than I do actually. From Rev 2, like she has a lot of, she has like some hard things to do if you want optimal damage. But if you're just gonna play her, play her, nah, yeah. not really. I don't think so. Okay. Um, I do think that she struggles in neutral a lot though, compared to a lot of other characters. But mm. once she opens you up, especially with a counter, she does a lot of damage, and she has okay. a good corner carry as well. Okay, that's good to hear. Yeah, I think that m why most people hate playing her or like think that she's hard to play is because she she's a, a character that relies a lot on counters if i understand correctly and people yeah. don't really like to play passive in fighting games so that's probably the reason why she's not as popular mm, as other yeah that was pretty crazy good, good stuff from yukinato like yeah yukinato is not afraid of like just using the command grab at random ass moments like seriously he's been doing this a lot <laughs> and it's it's been uh, working for him a lot Okay, nice slider head right there from Yukinato. Like, really? Pro oh, and no command remember that. That was the opportunity. And this is death. Yeah, this is death. Yeah. Oh, or not. Drop the combo. Okay. Unfortunately, hmm. combo drops. Yukinato san gambate. But unfortunately, she lost the first match. Player being as strong as always. Yeah, player really doesn't, doesn't give you any opportunity to do anything. Yeah, good stuff from player still. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. Okay, back in neutral, but right there, player found an opening and jumped right on Yukinato-san. Yukinato -san was able to save him off still, but still not out of the woods yet. He has his back against the corner right there, and wow, big counter right there. This is gonna hurt. Oh, Garuda Impacto is still there. Oh, and the, yeah, again, he tried to grab him, and... Yeah, he has, I think he has some problems with his timing right there to do the blue room and cancel into directly uh, command grabbing his opponent. Oh, okay, big gun flame right there. Oh, okay, emergency uh, mega fist. Okay, oh, and the blue oh, high low. Uh, oh, and the optimal damage. Damn, look at this. That the combo is pretty crazy. Good stuff. Good yeah. stuff from player. Seems happy chaos, not turning ready yet. Yeah, he's a little bit complicated to play right now. And the. Dust, the immediate dust right there. Good stuff from player. Being very, very, very decisive right there. Oh, yeah, Mega Fist. 
Ah, okay, and you can see uh, Ignato really having some trouble, like, preventing player from just, like, you know, just jumping on him and doing whatever he wants to do. Okay, very nice uh, meaty uh, S right there. Unfortunately, got DP right on the wake up right nice. here. Okay, slider head right there. Nope. We don't take these. Oh, that was pretty OD. Good stuff. Very uh, nice good. aerial grab right there from Yukinato. Ooh, the conversion? Well, uh, never mind, but still, it was like a still pretty good thing to put him in the corner, but he gets anti-aired with 5k, and he's in a pretty bad position. 6h, double kill for once, Aye, but he gets hit by 6k. Yeah, Aye, that's anyways, so... Yep. And player Aye, takes the second you. match right there. I remember Gold Lewis considered bottom tier when he released. I was definitely, I'm, I'm still uh, certain that <laughs> Gold, and I was certain that at first at launch that Gold Lewis is not, <laughs> he's not. He's not low tier. Uh, the damage output he has, though. The when when you're when you're in the corner and you don't have any tension against Gold Dealers, you're you're basically dead. Like seriously, you're dead. And if you don't have a DP, of course. If you have DP, it might be doable, I guess. But uh, this this character is so annoying. But that's uh, that's uh, like most of the characters in uh, Guilty Gear, I guess. If if a character is annoying, that's a good thing. That means that the developers did something correct. You know, <laughs> you can. That means that the character has. Uh, um, a property that people can abuse in order to win, and that's basically what Guilty Gear is all about, I think. That's really the, the case. It took me some time to understand this, by the way. <laughs> if you don't know how to defend properly, you die to go really yeah, definitely. But I think even if you know how to defend properly, it's just... It's just really, really tricky to play against him. I think. <clears throat> but yeah, definitely. I, I did my homework, though, on Gold Lewis, so I can actually... I, I, I can handle the matchup a lot better than what I used to, but I at first it was... Oh my god, it was so freaking hard. <laughs> Anyways, here you go. Onslaught by Trillia re really doesn't want Yukinato to get out of, of the corner. Emergency burst right there. And right, just like this player is back right on top of him, man. Just not leaving him, letting him time to breathe at all. It's crazy. Very, very slow. don't know who's going to take it. Takashi is extremely strong. Yeah. Takashi is very, very strong. But yeah, Sunlight is definitely no slouch either, so... Yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's bound to be an interesting match, I think. So I played Elfeld, and her being hated is injustifiable. Oh, some people might say the contrary. <laughs> from from what I heard, from what I heard, like, Elfeld was definitely the cheapest character, well, one of the cheapest characters in, uh, in XR. Yeah, the cheapest character is, is Johnny. Johnny. Yeah, Johnny. 25% yeah. RC into unblockable is not justifiable <laughs> hate. Yeah. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> you mean shotgun loops are that do 60% of your health in the corner are not justifiable? <laughs> Leap into a reset as well? <laughs> are you talking about my dude? Okay, yeah. Like, Sora, Sora, Sora has history with Hellfeld, yeah. He, he doesn't really like the character. <laughs> Wait, definitely she seemed pretty annoying to, to deal with from what I understand. But anyways, here we go on to uh, the match and Takashi already put one on the board, well, one one round that is. But definitely, yeah, uh, it's only a matter of time before Sunlight nice. actually gets something going for him. Big Bandit Bringer right there got uh, equally punished by Sunlight. Immediately gets Takashi in the corner, doesn't want him to go out, but no punish right there from uh, Ghost to Antire actually. Okay, That's not punish there. No, hmm. Takashi is in the lead. He's really putting a lot of. Ooh, no of three Ooh nice RC to put himself in a really bad situation. Uh, 2H to keep him away and have a little bit of sort of pushback so he can get a little bit away from the corner, but now the blood rage is a factor. Um, Oh, definitely, thank yeah. God, yeah, thank god he managed to actually uh, really do well with the bar. And, uh, he still has one no, Fukio left right now, I think, yeah. probably. One Fukio left, but then it's Fukio over. Left. Okay, what he is he gonna do? Yeah, he oh, need to, no, no, that's unfortunate! Oh, okay, maybe, that is so unfortunate. Maybe, the is gonna come. No, no, oh, yeah, and nice, the Twitch is... Nice, to yeah, nice very, snipe. Very good, reaction. good snipe from Sunlight right there. Puts one round on the board as well. Here we go, now Sunlight is a little bit on the lead, nice uh, OTG, but he gets counter hit and now the amount of damage that you put in is gonna be put in against you, nice frame trap with the gun flame, uh, still going for 2H as his uh, main tool of the quote unquote zoning, let's call it that way, nice 6B to get him out of the air, 
Double touch for the country. Still in favor of Nagoyuki. Is the burst going to cut my TP? Oh, this is going to take it. And no burst yeah. from Takashi. That's some characteristic. But yeah, probably he was in a pretty tight spot where if he bursted bad, he would have died either way. So yeah. it's understandable still. But that's unfortunate though. But very big start of the round by Sunlight immediately doing DP and forcing the burst from Takashi. We immediately burst this time around. Okay, here we go in the corner from Takashi. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna be? Oh, but no Fukio for you right now. Okay, this is actually that was blood rage. Ah, uh, that was blood rage. But uh, if if uh, if uh, Takashi had blocked the previous um, onslaught from Ghost, Ghost would have uh, would have blood blood rage. Anyways, here we go. This time around, the position of reverse. Takashi throws sunlight out. Okay, trying to bait the throw this time around. Okay, how is it going to go? Whoa, Kip! Go stop for the pressing buttons right there, and 2 HS yeah. and right into the Beyblade for the win right there. Good stuff from Sunlight. Ooh, and the, yeah, caught you pressing buttons right there. Okay, 5 HS right there. Oh, I'm, and here you go, yeah. We are back for another round. Oh, okay, big wild throw right there from Takashi. Oh, was so kind of just to switch corners, but it didn't really matter. He still has his burst, though. It, he bursted really late. Still. And that's been... Okay, here we go. Now Sunlight is trying to zone out with, like, his 2S. Vortex! Vortex into RC, into GP. The... The uh, Hail Mary. Oh, he gets counter hit on that. He whips, but manages to RC and gets the punish on uh, Takashi. And this is, yeah, this is the... Uh, he manages to get the counter hit. Really, really good job. Good stuff, Sunlight. Another one on the board. Being very, very strong right now, eh? Okay, here we go on to the possibly the, the, the final match of this encounter. Let's see if there's going to be any adaptation wow. from Takashi. Okay, this time around the... Uh, I think the 6 HS this was? I'm not quite sure. Yeah. I think it was the 6 HS, yeah. Whiffed and immediately punished by Takashi. Okay, oh, this time around, no 2 HS for you, my boy. <laughs> you gotta take this. You take this and bam, I'm gonna overdrive your ass, and this should do. Oh, it doesn't actually. Thank you, the health pool of. Yeah, the only by Sliver, the magic pixel. You can see it from here. A big counter hit on the Beyblade, man, and. Oh, and you're gonna die. <laughs> oh no! No, are you serious? <laughs> Sunlight must be so angry. Sunlight must be so angry right there. He must be so angry. Yeah, unfortunately he reacted like a little bit to it, but nice counter hit. Right now he's like really managing to win neutral, but unfortunately he gets opened up and put in the corner. Nice, with punish on that, but the grab is not gonna work. I, I really struggled against Takashi with that because as soon as he gets an opening he's gonna try to move away, like yeah. that for example. Yeah. But nice recognition and nice RC. From, uh, ah, but no! To... You shouldn't have done oh. this! Takashi, you would've won! You would've won! Uh, now, now you're in dire straits, yeah. yeah. Ah, and you died! Ah. Unfortunately, yeah, Very Takashi didn't recognize that Sunlight was using the FD at that particular yeah. moment because he had a full blood rage right there. That's really, really uh, unfortunate for Takashi, who could've won. This is unfortunate, but it's a, well, probably uh, lack of character knowledge right there. Uh, there Go, still managing to keep him in the corner. Nice 6P, but unfortunately he doesn't enter that one. Okay, now it's Takashi's turn. He gets a nice counter hit on the Fafnir. This is gonna be a lot of damage. This is really gonna be a lot of damage. Wall break into uh, into hard knockdown. What is gonna be Takashi's mix? Uh, oh, and it's a run up and grab, and you died. You die. Okay, Takashi putting one on the board right there. Good stuff from him. Let's see if he's going to show that same level of determination in the following match in order to, uh, well, basically put another one and then having a real match. Ah! Okay, big DP right there from Ghost. A little bit too uh, far to actually get any sort of conversion right here, but it's still okay. Oh, very nice. Nice punish right there. Good stuff from Takashi. Konnichiwa, Yachigusa-san. Yachigusa-san. <laughs> Ogenki deshouka. And here we go. Big early burst from Takashi, man. 
That's nice that's me for the night. Grab. What yeah. what? Ooh, stack again. Nice recognition. Exactly. You know, the fact that really going for the grab, but the vortex finally hits. The big vortex right there. That was a nice big huge dash. vortex on on Takashi right there. Okay, here we go. What are we going to see? Okay, no bro. Oh, did you see the? Did you see this? The position yeah. change. That was crazy. Yeah, that was really cheeky. That was really mm. cheeky. That was pretty well played. But he might mm. be in a dire position right now. That's nice with punish. Nice Kuroko back and. <laughs> Yeah, wow. he, he finally gets opened up. He exactly. really like went for stagger after stagger after stagger after stagger, and uh, yeah, that's what happens. Ang san, otsukade, arigato ne, sankashite itadaki. Oh, Gary, wow, big six speed right there. Nice counter hit again. The OTGs are doing so much. They damage. are, man. Oh man, the uh, the six HS of of uh, of, yeah. of, of Nago is, is crazy. It it hits so hard. Woo, very nice. Oh no, but unfortunately, it's too far to get any yeah. any combo. Okay. Ooh, nice. Ooh, nice. and just run up and grab, and he gets grabbed by himself. That's unfortunate. Always blood bursts at least once. Blood rages. I'm sorry. Blood rages at least once every match. Let's see if this is the case still in this one as well. We will see. I think I've even seen him do, do it twice in a row. He did it. He did, like he did. A single row. Yeah, he, he wasn't in his best day during last match. Maybe this time it'll be better. Let's see. <laughs> oh, here we go. Already, already Blood Gage is in the third level Ooh, right there. Nice. Oh, okay. and I think, I think... Okay, it's okay, okay. He's being he's being reasonable, yeah. you see? Yeah, oh, yeah. and the Fukio, right, I, when, right oh, when I say nice. that he does a Fukio. <laughs> right when I say it. <laughs> Again, okay. Fukio again, he's pressing his attention as much as possible. Here, we, ooh, okay, nice recognition to, I don't know why he grabbed in the first place, but at least like he uh, made it safe, he gets grabbed. Ooh, then, grabbing he you. Manages, he manages to ooh, punish, oh, oh, he manages to punish the DP. That punish on the serious. DP! That punish on the DP was OD, good stuff from Zero right there. Puts, takes the first round. Will it be a uh, uh, Nagoriyuki mirror? We'll see in the grand fight in the in the finals. Okay, oh, here we go. Here we go. Nice oh my God, the pressure is endless, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is this is gonna do some uh, decent damage. Um, here we go, Nagoyuki. is still having the pressure. He is not afraid of pushing buttons. He is not afraid of his blood uh, rage whatsoever. Ooh. Again, a DP a punish right there. A punish on the DP, I'm sorry. Zero takes it, damn, over player. Good stuff. Good stuff from player, no, from Zero. Okay, let's see. Is player going to change his style a bit to try and accommodate and find yeah, answers I think to... Yeah, he needs to. Yeah, definitely does, yeah. Right there, it was all, like, all Zero. Yeah, he got red pretty hard on every DP he put in, yeah. so... He really needs to, like, accommodate a little bit, but... Uh, as we can see, there's a little bit of adaptation. Nice with punish on the 2H. Here we go, another counter hit. He's recognizing maybe a little bit of patterns coming from zero. Ooh, Ooh. The big counter hit okay. right there. He's, Ooh, he's definitely okay. staggering his pressure as Flying much as to possible. The moon. Yeah. <laughs> Flying to the moon. <laughs> okay, here we go. Nice, very, very nice job. Again from Korea, he's. I think he recognized that the Zero is pressing a lot of buttons whenever he gets the chance. So now he's frame trapping him as much as he can. And, oh, uh, that frame trap though. Yeah. Ah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So player gonna, gonna get. He's pretty much on the lead. Ah, and a bad six HS right there from player immediately gets punished by Zero. But yeah, well, nice. unfortunately nice. Zero didn't have like the necessary uh, what's called the necessary resources to uh, survive the onslaught of player. And player ends up putting one on the board. Katanas are so strong that is naturally through. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. It is, but uh, player's fists were stronger than Nagoriyuki's katana just right there. So it really depends. Did he just punch like six times in a row? He did, man. He did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the Ooh, attempt to command grab right there from Zero gets red. Red completely by player. Again, counter hit. He's really been opened up by a lot of counter hits, which leads to explosive damage, unfortunately for him. That's not gonna kill, but he's extremely low and he can't do anything. Yeah, because and he was in blood rage. rage. Yeah, 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 he had, yeah, he was in blood rage right there. 
Okay, here we go. Maybe Zero can uh, bring it back a little bit. He's managing to push uh, play in the corner, so that's uh, already a good start. Ooh, a big oh, twist nice. right there. A big yeah. twist right there. Ooh, look at the damage, man. Oh, and he tried to grab him again. Oh, but he gets the vortex. Okay, he gets opened up. Uh, well, not opened up, but he gets uh, that press by the fucking He's gonna do it, yeah. On the tourbillon. <laughs> Le tourbillon. <laughs> Le tournicotis. Tournicotis, tournicota. Exactly. Takes it for the win. Good stuff from Zero. Okay, so... This is anybody's game right there. Ah, and unfortunately, bad Fuki right there from Zero immediately forced to burst, and so goes the advantage to player right there. They're gonna get Zero in the corner. Ah, and the big counter right there is gonna hurt. Oh, okay. Ah, yeah, yeah. You can see, yeah, the player is is, uh, is reading the Fuki. He's not reading. He's reacting to the Fuki right there. So yeah. I think that uh, Zero is, needs to change a bit his model right there. Rely less on Fukio because yeah, you can see that player is really reacting to it. Okay, here you go. Oh, oh, and Bandit bring on you dead. Yeah, good stuff from player. Puts the second, takes the second match right there. Still not over till it's over yeah. though, but we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, but the adaptation was really good from player. He really turned it around 180 degrees on uh, on his last two matches after he's been uh, dominated by Zero in the first match. And Zero go, is. Like, he Zero, is he a Hakumen player? I don't think so. Is Hakumen a, 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 a Blaze Blue character? Yes. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. I actually don't know. That's a good question, Tatigu uh, Sasan. We should ask Zero when he's uh, when he finishes his uh, his um, his match. Okay, but while we're seeing this, poor, uh, yeah. poor Zero is getting pummeled in the, <laughs> getting pummeled in the corner right there. Yeah, this seems a little bit hard for him, I think. I think, I think, yeah, it's probably Hakuman as in Blaze Blue. Probably. Oh, and this is gonna do, yeah, the release. Yeah, it's gonna do. Okay, final. Too many shows the button that you press immediately after block string is a little bit iffy, but it depends on the circumstances. Unfortunately, yeah. it didn't work for him. But he's managing to uh, put Pudei in the corner, and he's trying to fight back as much as possible. And this again, is the DP. The DP gets no, the no, 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 he the overdrive, he dropped the overdrive. Ah. Oh. This tournament is Sol versus Nago. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of Sol and Nago players. Yeah, that that's. I wish we had a little bit more character representation, but unfortunately, <laughs> it's not the case. But it's okay. It's still entertaining in its own. So, okay, here we go. And zero puts. Why would you play other characters? Yeah, I mean they they are the best characters of the game. Yeah, you have to, you have to. Uh, we have to admit it. Yeah, Sol and Nago be mad popular. Yeah, for obvious reasons too. I mean, they are the best characters by far in the game. Well, not by far. I mean, there's maybe uh, May and uh, and uh, Ram Lethal that that actually um, that can that can really put up a fight against them. I think. <clears throat> nah, Ty Geo nice. is best character. Nah, Ty is definitely good as well. Ty is mad good. Ty is mad good. But I think it's just really that the matchup again. Oh, whoa! Did you see this? Did you see this? This was crazy. That good was stuff from Zero. Good confirm. Wow. That was crazy. That that. Took me by surprise as well, but I think uh, just the the matchup, the Nagoriyuki versus Geo matchup, is really not in favor of of Nagoriyuki at all. I think. Yeah, you see what he did? That was crazy. My faith in Geo has been restored when Days just won the massive GGSC tournament. Yeah, definitely. But Geo is definitely good as well. Like, yeah, she's definitely not to be trifled with. I think all the characters are busted. Some just use easier to execute. I agree. Yeah, I have to agree. I have to agree with you, Bakuri. But then again. Some a, a couple of characters are more busted than others, I think, and this is, I think that well, and not just a, more busted. I wouldn't say more busted. They're more well-rounded and can deal with a lot more yeah. situations. Yeah, they're a lot like say, harder to deal way. with than others, let's say. Like, and that's definitely like for me, it would be Sol, Nagoriyuki, uh, Mei, and Ram. You know, these four characters I think are really on top. You know, on on top of the tier list, I think. But yeah, definitely, every single character is, is a threat by himself, I think. Definitely, you're, you're totally right when you say this. Okay, anyways, here we go. Uh, Zero is, uh, yeah, showing some sign of life right now, actually. The very nice stuff from him, like, not letting Priya get out and he's gonna die. Yeah, and just when I say this, bye-bye. Have you experienced Happy Chaos? Yeah. Happy Chaos wall loops is really hard, but uh, you can actually backdash on, the, uh, on his uh, revolver, on his shots. 
you can bad dash. And from there, you can punish him when he tries to uh, close the gap between you. But it really depends. With no bias uh, all at all, I say Mei is underpowered, at least in my head. <laughs> yeah. But it, I can play this game as well. I'm pretty sure Sol and Maguro Yuki are underpowered in my hand as well. Man, that shit's cancer, though. Which one, man? What? Ah, you mean Happy Chaos Wall Loops? Ah, and this is gonna do, yeah. Good stuff from player. Takes the encounter. We actually had two to three bracket this time around. It's going to be Yuki Nato-san against Kakeru Togo Shan. They both have played against each other. I think most of the time it was uh, it was uh, Kakeru San who took it. But yeah, you know we're not we're never uh, uh, we're never what it was called safe from uh, surprise. Anyways, there we go. Very very big start from Kakeru San being extremely aggressive actually, not letting him like any time to breathe. Mm. I can wait for Baikin. Yeah, Baikin too, man. I can wait to play her as well. Well, I'm gonna try her. I'm not gonna main her, but I'm definitely gonna try her out. Yeah, I blame Daruino for opening up the concept of wall stick tech. <laughs> yeah. And you blame him rightfully. You do, man. It was actually one of his fans that discovered the tech and shared it with him. And from there on, like, he's been using it non-stop for, uh, for obvious reasons. Here we go, slight head from Yukinato puts Kakiru on the uh, floor and wanted to, uh, well, Garuda him, but yeah, it was a little bit too close for it to work. And here we go, the command grab, man. Yukinato is in the house, y'all. Oh, big bandit bringer right there. Is Kakiru san gonna be able to seal it off? Oh, big grab right there from, uh, from Yukinato san. Oh, and the chip damage takes it. Note 50-50 is the worst though. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's, uh, I mean, uh, it's not as 50-50 as what you think, actually. There are, uh, there are lots of different, well, there are some ways to get rid of it. For example, if he does a 50-50 in the, uh, like, in, in the, um, right in the middle of the, the, what's called, of the, um, of the stage, you can just backdash. Of course, you'll get hit by the note, but at least you'll be out of the, uh, out of the mix-up. Wall stick. Ah, wall stick into note. Yeah, this is, this is dirty. Yeah, <laughs> it's dirty. It's actually dirty. I agree with you, Sunlight. Okay, you're talking about this 50-50. Yes, this is a true 50-50, actually. Yeah, you, you, you can't do anything about it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, perhaps in time, I'll figure out how to punish the risk that goes. Okay, uh, Tokakiyo-san takes the first. I mean, perhaps in time I'll figure out how to punish a risk that goes with that reward. But right now it's awful. My main tactic against uh, HC uh, Happy Chaos is just to throw as much compression at him as possible to minimize his meter build reloading. Once he's charged, it's become too much for me. Yeah. Well, you have two phases against Happy Chaos. It's either he's trying to zone you, in which case you have to wait until he has. Uh, you have to like um, gradually like run towards him and use FD to stop your your uh, your, your your run and move gradually like this and look at his uh, bullet count and as soon as he doesn't have a lot of bullet just go and run the health towards him and try to close the distance and you have the other phase which is when he's uh, being offensive and he's trying to wall loop you basically you can actually backdash on his his, uh, his shot attempts you can backdash on them. And from there, you can either try to grab him if you're uh, at your back against the wall, or you can try to hit him with something. He can't zone forever unless he gets hit. Uh, yeah, exactly. Just as Sunlight said. So it's not as... It's it's annoying, but it's not as free as what you might think, Aang. You just really need to uh, keep, um, keep a lookout on his bullet count. And also on his concentration. Without concentration, he cannot focus, uh, shoot you, snipe you. And that means that you can just run towards him, and every single bullet will will uh, will uh, will miss basically. <clears throat> so, anyways, here we go. Oh, and Bandit Revolver gets punished for then. You cannot take shit. Well, take the takes this uh, this round at least. Oh, here we go. Okay, oh, Megafis right there. Unfortunately, oh my God, how did this hit? Okay, big snaps attempt right there from You cannot to try to get the dust in. Oh, okay, no punish on the Bandit Breaker right there. That was unfortunate. That was an opportune time to try and do it. Okay, you can see Yukinato. Yeah. Unfortunately, cannot get out of the corner. Ah, uh, Bandit Breaker doesn't get punished right there. I don't know if you can punish it, by the way. Maybe you can. Sounds good. I'll try that. The concentration, I'm definitely not paying attention enough with it. It's only slightly more visible than risk. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Keep an eye on his uh, uh, on his concentration and on his bullets. As soon as one or the other is like depleted or close to be depleted, just run, run towards him. He can't do anything. 
I'll give you. Then there's also the mind game with the clones. And this, I have to admit, I still am not too familiar with it. I don't really know. Uh, I, I haven't really encountered any Happy Chaos players who use the clone really, really efficiently. So there's nothing really I can say about this. Anyways, here we go. Slider head. Noblest means no real calendar, yeah. And Noblest means no focus attack. Well, focus uh, snipe. So he cannot, like, uh, keep you out, basically. He cannot, like, hit you. He, he does not have a guaranteed hit on you anymore. That means if you move and he tries to shoot you, it'll whiff. Focus. If he focus and tries to hit you, though, shoot you, he'll definitely hit you. That's the problem. Thank you very much for the follow, Quackster, and welcome to the bear, James. Okay, no punish on the bended bringer. Uh, the, uh, the bended revolver right there. Okay, Kakuto san really running a train right there. 2-0 on uh, Yukinato san Yukinato san Hanging, his life is hanging by a thread right now. It might be a little bit hard for him. Let's see if he's gonna see any adaptation. Just run and grab the Kakuto san special that he copied from Hakuman. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, very big 6P right there. Good stuff from Yukinato san immediately resorts to, uh, the, well, to uh, air grab him. Okay, here we go. Yo, l'ancien, ça va bien. Hey, yo. How you doing, Quackster? Ça va bien, l'ancien. Bienvenue, bro. Okay, here we go. Big wall break from Yukinato. And he gets the kill on the counter. On the um, on the running attempt from Kakito Gozan. They didn't have time to burst. He probably wouldn't have even if he realized he did. Okay, very nice whiff punish right there. On the 5HS from uh, Yukinato. Okay, attempt to 6P right there. He probably 4C uh, Bandit Revolver right now. Tranquilouche, pas se faire un petit coup pendant que je fais ma cuisine. Ça marche, ça marche. Pretty good. Fairly new to Guilty Gear. Tried controller and fighting stick and yet prefer keyboard. Well, man, to each his own, you know. There's no good way to play a fighting game. You play with whatever whatever is most comfortable with you. We have like Evo Champions with uh, with uh, gamepad. We have uh, Evo Champions with uh, sticks. We have people who defeated evil champions by using a a wheel i'm not even i'm not even uh, i'm not even lying so yeah you, you just play with whatever is most comfortable with you okay and here we go you can also put one on the board we have a match let's see if he's gonna be able to do so a second time you can try mix box too yeah definitely you can try mix box you can try what an aggressive salt cocky yeah he is right he's so aggressive but it's working for him so that's the good thing it's really close Don't to keyboard tell me don't tell me you weren't listening to me. Are you fucking kidding me? I, I wasn't listening to you at all. Last 10 minutes. You were mute? Hi, you're mute. Oh, you're mute. God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a stupid motherfucker. I swear to God, I hate myself. Ah, uh, so I was, I was wondering what, where you were gone, basically. And I didn't, I didn't dare ask you, like, but yeah, look at you were. To commentate and everything, but <laughs> just <laughs> fuck <laughs> dude. I think uh, it's only during this match, though, during Yukinato against Kakiru So I think you were commentating with uh, during the previous one. I think I'm not quite sure. Yeah, maybe I don't know. I'm just depressed about it. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let's keep going. No problem. Okay. Here this you go. This didn't, this didn't happen. Here we go. Not yeah, okay. <laughs> No worries, man. Shit happened. <laughs> Here we go. Big overdrive from kakiru san on Yukinato. Yukinato's on the verge of losing this round. Every cup he spends yeah, at least yeah, is yeah, muted. Yeah. Commentating. Agreed. <laughs> Yukinato, you done very nice combo. He did, man. He did. Good stuff. Oh, okay. Whiffed a grab right there from Yukinato. Tried to snap him at the start of the round. Oh, okay, big 6H's oh, right nice. there to punish yeah, the, uh, very, the... Very nice 6H. He's really managing to also close any air travel for Potemkin, but nice grab. This is, yeah, all the efforts that you've done to zone him out now exactly. don't matter. Nice counter hit, but <laughs> unfortunately he whiffs. Here we go, he manages to get a whiff punish, but he didn't confirm anything, unfortunately. Oh, oh and the big That's Mega very Fist very for the nice. win right there. Kakeus, uh, not Kakeus, and Yukinato san puts one on the board and we have a match! Here we go! Ah, perfect. I like this. That's a pretty nice, uh, a nice, a nice match right there. I love this song, by the way. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, the big counter hit on the butt hit. <laughs> on the butt, uh, the butt, uh, how do you call it? The butt fall. 
Oh, big counter hit right there from Kakiru san Gonna get the full get combo right there. Oh, and yeah. okay. First, okay. I, I agree. I agree. Late, I agree. I, mean, I agree with this. Way too late. He bursted way, way too late on that. He could have bursted no, before, yeah. Yeah. If okay, he gets the really oh, and just like this, there. just like this, you can have to get the lead right now. This is crazy. Okay, here we go. Hitbox is pretty good. I tried, I tried my friend's hitbox, and I actually really enjoyed playing with it. It's I tried it for good. one and one month and a half, and I just couldn't get uh, like I couldn't get good with it. Yeah, personally, I, I'm sticking with stick personally. Oh, here we go. Sticking is like hot. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> And I couldn't hit this hitbox, man. I really couldn't. There we go, Garuda Impacto! <laughs> I won't. I refuse. But there we go. Will Kakiru san be able to take this one? And shall we be going to the final round of the final match? Okay, the big schmix is right there from Kakiru san. Couldn't connect though. Oh, 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 and the attempt to command grab right there. This was a command grab right there. Oh, and the big fist. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, no! Oh, okay. Ooh, it's saved by the burst. Oh, oh and then the burst from... Oh, oh. And we're going on to the final match of the final... No, the final round of the final match. Here we go. Uh. Okay, here we go. Now they're both playing it safe. The second little person doesn't care anymore. He decided it's not safe. I'm going to go in and I'm going to try to do my thing. Exactly. That's as he should. <laughs> him in the corner. Nice avoiding the command. Oh, and the, the whiff. Oh. With this and... That damage he got from encountering it wasn't safe. Nice recognition for the clash. Immediately presses exactly. There we go. Another fast near that guard uh, the guard breaks, but uh, unfortunately now uh, you cannot always out of the corner. But Ooh, and Takeru's on the Good stuff from Takeru's son. I'm satisfied to see him the good Potemkin as well. Pork Master Sora, <laughs> Haruf Master. <laughs> I'm playing on Arcade Stick, but want to try Hitbox though. Okay. Yeah, you should try. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, you should try, but just bear in mind that it might not be uh, good for you either. It's really, it, it's strange. It's well, some people really vouch for it though. But you should. Maybe I can find a cheap second hand. No, okay, here you go. So really, uh, Moni san really trying to keep Sora out and just like this, just run towards him and grabs him. Okay, here you go. Sora just goes in for the freaking schmixes right there. Oh, and just, yeah, he was a little bit too close to Moriu's and he gets grabbed in the process. Ah, uh, Moriu is playing Axel. GG's kick my his hand. Yeah. And it's a very good Axel by this also, so it's gonna be pretty hard for him. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Sora has problems like getting in right now. You can see it right there. And Moriu san is doing a very good, uh, good job at keeping him away right there, keeping him out. Ah, les schmixes, je connais. Ah, bah ça. Okay, very nice. There we go. Nice 2S right there from Morisan. Morisan just running, casually running towards Sora. Like, you know, if you uh, think about the Axel versus uh, Axel versus Leo matchup, you don't think of Axel just running towards Leo and trying to grab him. <laughs> the matchup Axel Leo, Axel wins. Yeah, I can, I can, I can agree with this. Ah, je famoso DP. Yeah, LDP, the king of the DP. The king of the DP king, man. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, Sora has really a lot of problems just trying to get in. Good stuff from Moriu san doing a good job at keeping him out still. First match goes to Moriu. Let's see if this trend goes and remains the same. Ah, bah, quand Sora lui même dit que contre Axel, il arrive presque à rien. Okay, here we go. Okay, very nice uh, opening right there from Sora. Gets almost a full combo. Okay, yeah. You can see, yeah, Sora going for the hard reads with the, uh, with the, uh, the, the, the shield right there. Okay. Yeah, Sora really trying, it has problems is maintaining Moryu on, on the ground. He really has a lot of problems. So, okay, here we go. We're in and immediately the, yeah, this is gonna hurt. Good overdrive from Moryu. So I recognize that Sora was going on the offensive. It wasn't scared of getting shielded, by the way. Ah, uh, okay, and the grab, here we go, Moriu-san, the, yeah, Moriu-san loves the command grab. He's probably, like, I've said it plenty of times already, but he has the best utilization of the command grab of Axel, of any Axel I've ever seen, actually. Okay, good stuff right there from Moriu-san, gets the conversion right there, keeps Sora 
Oh, and the DP bait right there from Moriu san gets a full combo. Very nice punish right there. Again, the command grab. And okay, you tried to beat the burst right there. Oh, okay, and the DP, and you did. Yeah, oh my god. Good stuff. Big perfect from Moriu san. He is here with a statement. Takes the second match. Let's see if this trend goes on or if Sora will find a way to adjust his gameplay and take one match as well. Hmm. Okay, wow, and uh, unfortunately no punish on this one and gets grabbed by Moriu. Ah, uh, yeah, this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard. Yeah, I can see why the matchup is hard though. Wonder if uh, Sora can't use his. Uh... Oh, okay, big counter hit right there, gonna get a full combo into the overdrive right there. This Axel player, is yeah, he is. He's, he's a very entertaining uh, Axel player. I really love seeing him play, and right there you can see the Moriu sniffed the grab attempt by uh, by by uh, Sora himself. Just like this, we are on match points. Moriu san really not afraid of doing any. Oh, big. Okay, here we go. Okay, Sora finally gets finally gets something going on right there. Okay, here we go. We're gonna change. I'm gonna mix you up as much as I can. Oh, that bad dash! My God, on the over, not the the overhead. It wasn't an over. Oh, it was an overhead actually. Okay, here we go. Okay, nice patient. Oh, oh no! Oh, he actually caught Sora flinching right there. Okay, here we go. Okay, nice stuff from Andy Command grab, but unfortunately, he doesn't have tension to convert it. But yeah, this actually might do it. Andy Command grab, yeah. Morisan loves doing this. Good stuff from Morisan. The thing yeah. is, I saw the command grab and tried to jump, and as soon as I jumped, he activated it. So okay, I was like, okay. okay, okay, I see. But that was pretty funny, though, this interaction yeah, was. It was, it was, it was funny to me. Because, like, it took him two or three seconds to realize that he actually hit with this. It was so funny. Yay, thank you for the Super Saiyan powers. And. Ah, damn it. Yeah. Thank you for the follow and the Super Saiyan power is Takorai and welcome to the brother. Okay, okay, here we go. Big burst here from Kakiru san. Didn't want to get any type of uh, pressure right there. Okay, but right now he's getting pummeled by Takashi in the corner. This is gonna be a big, yeah, this is gonna be death actually. This is death, yeah, this is death. Good stuff from Takashi. Starts this. Round with a huge statement right there. I am the real soul. <laughs> Super Saiyan Kane. Whoa. <laughs> Thanks, Yachigusan. Okay, oh, here we go. Oh, okay, big damage right there. Good yeah, stuff from Bucket Nice job. Yeah, yeah exactly. Very, very nice job. Okay, here we go. Oh, that was cheeky. I wish nice. it would go, but yeah. Ooh, and the DP. Ah, uh, the DP punish on the 5 head chest right there using the Roman cancel to be able to confirm that he was going to do the uh the 5 HS, good stuff from Takashi. Puts one on the board right away. Je vais me prendre un petit verre d'eau, ça te dérange pas. Ça va, je reviens tout de suite. Vas-y, vas-y, vas-y. Ok, here we go. Now it's Takeda Tomo-san. This match, but she gets opened up immediately. Unfortunately, he is in the corner. He is really being pummeled. He will probably be able to get out. Yeah, he has a little bit of space right now. But unfortunately, still being kept in the corner. He's been, his health is being nibbled at a bit by bit. But he gets opened up by the counter. This is going to be big. It's going to be huge damage. And this is going to be death. Unfortunate for Kakeru Tozo-san that had a pretty good start of the round. But as soon as he got opened up, unfortunately, he was... Uh, he was pretty much gone. And um, here we go, now it's back to neutral. Kakeru Togo-san is on the offensive. He manages to uh, get a little bit of advantage. He's really trying to uh, keep him in the corner as much as possible. Very, very good job. And unfortunately, he, as soon as he gets opened up, I swear to God, this soul player really manages to convert 
Okay. Any single type of hit that he's getting. Really, really good job from him. Really impressive. It was Takashi who won, right? Oh. Yes. Okay, okay, perfect. Oh, there you go. Takedo-san finally gets something going on, and right, just like this, he gets uh, bursted on, unfortunately. Takashi versus the Axel, the, the Axel Grand Final. <laughs> that, that's uh, not gonna happen, unfortunately, because both of them are in the loser's bracket. They might be... Um, they might be face each other, uh, what's it called, during the uh, loser's uh, final though. It, it's definitely possible and it's uh, it's about to happen actually if uh, this trend continues. So we'll see. If Kagiyotoro-san can, um, can find a solution, it might be uh, it might be the case, yeah. Okay, here we go. Ooh, and unfortunately the 5HS gets hit by the gun flame from Takashi. And just like this, we are on game points let's see how it goes i didn't realize well no worries man don't worry big volcanic bra uh viper right there okay yeah you can see that takusan really hesitates to go and to uh try to lead off the guy i think yeah but he's getting he's getting really like uh thrown by uh the initiative of uh, Brea, so mm -hmm. yeah, unfortunately he does not manage to get like any type of advantage there. But uh, still, it's like he's trying to do as much of a good job as he can with uh, keeping up with the offense. But uh, yeah, he doesn't have as good of a conversion as the other player does. So uh, and just like this, he takes the third. Man, I wanted to see the most. I think I'm definitely gonna see it again. Okie dokie, bridge and cookie. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Okay, so how this one, I really don't know who's gonna win. I honestly don't know. Both players, I think, have a relatively similar level. And both hate each other's matchup. So, which one do you think is in favor? I, I think that the uh, Nagoriki against Axel matchup is in favor of Axel, if I'm correct. Probably. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it depends. It depends. If, if you manage like to zone uh, Nagoriki out with the Axel, then you're pretty much, yeah. Uh, you're pretty much on the money, but... Once you get opened up with any single hit, already like Axel doesn't have a lot of uh, health. Lot of yeah. health. Um, yeah. Just like this. Doing, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, and the big yellow Roman cast right there, and more you just go straight up, runs yeah. and grabs him, as always. Okay, here we go. The. Oh, here you go. Yeah, the attempt to grab him right away. Ooh, la! That snipe, man. <laughs> that was crazy. Good stuff from Zero right there. I really didn't know who won. I, what was that? What did I say? I said, ooh la! <laughs> yeah. I, I stopped questioning a lot of things that you say. So yeah, that's good. You, should, you shouldn't. Exactly. You shouldn't question. Exactly. If you question too much, you're, you're gonna become crazy. So it's best if you don't. Anyways, here we go. So Murio san like, uh, well, leading the onslaught right there on zero, and he's gonna get it, actually. Good stuff. Damn, that was crazy. Nice conversion right there from uh, Morio. Okay, one round apiece. Okay, this uh, this is balanced, as everything should be. Okay, very big 2S right there from Morio-san. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. So Morio-san really trying to... Oh, okay, very nice stuff right there. 2S counter hit. Still puts a lot of distance between him and uh, Sora. On n'entend pas, frère. On n'entend pas. Il est en train de, il est en train de jouer là. Okay, good stuff from. Uh... Oh, okay, this is gonna do, yeah. Yeah, this is absolutely gonna do. Oh, again, he also manages to bait his first. Yeah, ball, he but... did. Uh, I mean, honestly, even even like if he got hit by the burst, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even put it past Nagoriyuki to be even like to put to put any type of like advantage into that there. To be honest with you, but Là, still, no, no, no. C'est parce qu'il était il était en train de uh, de taper quelque chose sur uh, un stick sur ça. Ça faisait du bruit de fond et ça ça activait le micro en fait. Mais t'inquiète, il s'est pas mute, il s'est pas mute. T'inquiète, t'inquiète. <laughs> okay, okay, so, 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 like active. He's not just being passive and waiting and zoning. He's just he just runs towards so, 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 so,
Moriusan plays Axel a very, very strange way. If if you you're not ready for it, you're definitely gonna be uh, you're gonna be uh, surprised by it. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, he also plays really well in neutral as well. Oh, definitely. Like, he definitely. knows how to cycle around his options and uh, manage like to uh, basically just yeah, just manage to keep you out and uh, read you on everything that you do and. Unfortunately, right now he's getting like pummeled in the corner, so maybe it doesn't prove a point, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, good stuff right there from Zero. Finally waking up a bit, and this should do, yeah. Good stuff from Zero. Puts one round on the board. Let's see if he can take the second one as well. <laughs> wow, caught the back dash right there. This is gonna be big damage. Half of your life is probably gonna be gone. Okay, very nice recognition from Moriu, who saw that. Uh, zero whiffed a 2HS right there and immediately punished accordingly. Oh, Gary Gold, nice stuff from Moriu again gets the 2S. Yeah, very, very good, yeah. The 2S counter yeah, in right that's, there. That's the issue right now, like, Nagoriyuki is in his face and also, like, is struggling a little bit more. Ooh, bad burst! Uh, blue, Ooh, that bad burst. That's a bad burst right there. Oh, what? This is the second time he does this. It's crazy, using the uh, the momentum of the, what's called, the uh, Beyblade and Roman cancelling it and using the momentum to close the distance with the opponent. This is the second time that Zero does this. And just like this, he puts one on the board as well. Nice stuff. Very, very good. Mm. Okay, uh, apparently we are waiting. Okay, it's okay. They were just taking some time too. Man loves his RC movement. He does, right? Now go we now go go we exactly now go go we exactly that's exactly the sound that he see does when he does it <laughs> it's so true oh my god just run and grab him man oh and the double Fuki right there gets called out by Moriu okay Moriu really intent like in he's really intent on. Keeping Nago right there and not even afraid of closing the distance with him. So great. A lot of pressure and a lot of uh, also chip damage on the board. He's really like doing a really good job right now, like switching between aggressiveness and just neutral. As you can see right now, he noticed as immediately as soon as the round started that zero is gonna go his way. So he uh, just like chilled it down a little bit, and now he's switching on the he's aggressiveness. Going, he's playing so, so crazy, man. It's crazy. Mori is really playing out of his mind right now. Mm. And immediately, yeah, he even got the opportunity to get the uh, R the what's called the overdriver there for hard knockdown, yeah. and she's about to take it. Oh, good stuff! That was 100% Moriu, 100% yeah. Moriu right there. Good he stuff really, too. Really one. dominant there. Oh, definitely really dominant. He shut. He manages to shut down like uh, Zero's aggression as soon as he starts to press a lot of buttons, and as soon as. He puts him in a he puts him in a weird position. He manages to capitalize on that immediate burst from zero. Now here we go. But now you're still ages away from getting close to Axel, and you're gonna be put in the quote-unquote blender. Here we go again. Nice. He still manages to keep him for screen. Nice. It's a very good reaction, Ooh, and he's gonna convert on that. But unfortunately, he didn't manage to finish his uh, lasagna. As, uh, <laughs> his lasagna. <laughs> And just uh, Zero being overwhelmed by the by the offense of Moriu, like he doesn't know what to do, and again gets uh, air grab. Uh, Moriu definitely has a, a very good read on the movement of Zero and on his mindset right there. This is uh, unfortunate for Zero because the best side of Zero is that he's very, very unpredictable, and right now Moriu is just reading him like a book. Probably the fact that he knows how he's he plays because he's crazy as him, probably I suppose. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Maybe, and maybe. just like this, Moriu takes it. That was dominant Stop to uh, yeah. the, one yeah. of the winners right there in the winner's uh, final, actually. So, yeah, definitely no slouch. He's been winning every single one man of his, uh, uh, every single matchup up until now, except against Sunlight. So, yeah, definitely solid right there. And uh, Moriu san, uh, the equally solid, actually, since he's in the winner, the loser's final right now. Uh, so let's see how this goes. I don't know if they played against each other today. I'm not quite sure, actually. I should look at the uh, brackets, but, uh, but it's okay. Yeah, we, I, I'll, I'll take a look at it really quickly. Have no worries. Oh, okay, here we go. Big, uh, big pressure right there. And a huge 6, six P uh, from Takashi right there gets the counter hit on Moriu. 
Oh, that air grab from Moni, my god, how does he get them so consistently? It's crazy. And so early to end. Oh, and he was able to read the grab right there from Takashi, and he's gonna get a full combo thanks to it. Ooh. And he's using like moves that I've never seen other axles use. What the hell was this yep. this attack? I never saw it before. Oh no, my god, this one up into the low. Uh, have been put in uh, loser's bracket by Sunlight. Sunlight, actually. okay, well. They both yeah. have a grudge against him then. That's good. <laughs> Big. Okay, here we mm. go. Very, very nice uh, domination right now in neutral by uh, Modiusan. Uh, Takashi, you can see he's trying like to go inside, but he's maybe a little bit impatient. Um, and Modi is really managing very Ooh. well to keep his distance, but he gets opened up and now you're in the corner and Axel, you have no way to get out unless you get a free uh, air dash. Sorry about that. Very, very uh, good uh, tech. Immediate burst. Oh! Oh, not unfortunate for him. I you're thought he was going to burst, burst on his... Uh... Okay, no, good stuff. Burst, so... Yeah. He's Axe. Ah, that's unfortunate for Modi right there. Yeah, I had... Yeah. He knew that something was coming, but he wasn't quite sure what it was. Just in, and just like that, he used the overdrive. But unfortunately, it wasn't the correct answer this time around. It was nicely done, though. Ah, and right, he tried to air grab him again. Ah. Okay, back to neutral right there. Modi refuses to like just back off and just you know play the uh, the zoning game. Like he's being so active, moving forward, moving backward, and just not letting his opponent getting a read off of him. You see. He's being so freaking active, just going right in your face and just backing off like the second, the next second. Very good movement from him. Yeah, I think I think maybe he knows that people want to get in and jump on Axel because he has a lot of mm. good uh, uh, like uh, ground to ground normals. So yeah. maybe that's why he's trying like to change the distance a little bit and like play footies as much as he can, so he takes people by surprise. But unfortunately, right now he is in the corner. He's gonna he's get gonna so hurt, much yeah. damage. And this is yeah, he's, he's gonna, gonna be just death. Yeah. Good stuff from uh, Takashi-san, puts one on the board. Let's see how this goes. Woo. Oh, that just, that just defend right there. Oh, okay, job. Uh, just like scrambles right now, nice counter, it immediately bursted from uh, Takashi, here we go, he keeps on the pressure with the stagger, here we go again. And look at this the damage, man, damage. look at the yeah. damage, yeah, damn, that's 75% of your life in one go, man. Not even using, like, tension, that's the, the craziest part of it. Okay, here we go back. Ah, and gets more tech right there, this is gonna do it. This must be so frustrating for Moriyasan because yeah. he puts a lot of effort into like trying to zone him out, but as soon as he gets open, all of that effort and more gets thrown out of the window. Exactly. Yeah, it's like you spend open, so you spend so many time like trying to open up your opponent, get getting a little yeah. bit of damage here and there, and then your opponent gets one opening on you, and it's like the exact amount of damage that you've like accumulated up until now that gets thrown in your face, basically. So yeah, I, I definitely understand the frustration. Since Axel doesn't have a very big damage output, then here we go, second match goes to Takashi. Let's see how the potential final match will go. Will we see adaptation yeah. for Morio? We'll, we'll see right now. Takashi, Takashi right now has Morio's number, to be honest with you. Yeah. He's a little bit in his head, so... He's, he's definitely reading him a lot. Yeah. Oh, very nice air grab right there for oh, Morio. Nice yeah, he's been, he's been consistent on his air grabs throughout the entire tournament, actually. He's really good at uh, getting those very, very good reactions. Okay, now he's uh, managing to put some uh, distance between him and uh, Takashi, but as soon as I was going to say that, commentators curse and yeah. do a lot Oh my god, this kill? <laughs> that, was, that was pretty crazy. Good stuff from Takashi right there. Gets LG potentially the final... Good match point right there. Let's see how it goes. Oh, okay. Nice read from yeah, Morrison nice. jump. Yeah. Okay, was able to oh, bait nice the push. DP right there. Ooh, bad burst right there from <laughs> Takashi. Yeah, Very bad burst, yeah. Such a nice sequence going on for uh, Morio. Mm. Honestly, he's gonna get a lot of damage. He's gonna get also the uh, knockdown. 
which is really good for him, and he decides to immediately go in, but maybe that was not a good answer, and he gets reset into the grab, that was into the Oh, the good call out from Morio, <laughs> pressed the button out. where he needed it, very nice stuff from him. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> good stuff from Morio. Okay, very nice entire air to air right there from Morius. I'm definitely not going down without a fat fight. Okay, nice. He's really keeping him out right now. Playing definitely the keep away game. Yep. Yeah, being definitely less. Ah, just right. Like, nah, just when I say this. <laughs> yeah, he gets sniped out of the air now. He's unfortunately in the corner. Yeah. And this one is more. Not a good position to be. If he gets open yeah, one, one more, it's over. Oh, unfortunately, Ooh, too far for the punish right there. Okay, okay. okay. Nice punish. Okay, very nice stuff. Ah, uh, the Bender Bringer, no! Oh, no! Oh, oh, and the scramble! To find the final scramble. Very, very nice job. Very, Perfect. Very good job. Okay, Morius on staying alive right now. Let's see if he can do it one more time and then another time. We'll see. Ah, that's actually not the loser's final, I'm stupid. That's the loser's semi-final. Ah, my bad, yeah. Are you talking about this? Yeah. I'm, I'm dumb. I put loser's final, it's not. It's semi-final. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> oh, there you go. <clears throat> oh, okay, just run up and grab. Boom. Stay down. <laughs> put your ass down. <laughs> and here. Uh, Axel. Very nice. <laughs> And the grabber gets grabbed. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, and the air grabber there. For sure, yeah, and he's dead. And this is gonna do. Okay. Okay, match point, second time for Takashi. Let's see how it goes. The belle du mash. La belle du mash. <laughs> okay, just keeping really Takashi in the corner, doesn't want him out for obvious reasons. Very nice overhead. Ah, uh, really, really, you can see. But yeah, Takashi's still doing a good job of uh, fuzzy guarding, but yeah, eventually gets open. Win by Strive Axel is so hard for me. Go Mori, yeah. Strive so, yeah, Axel is uh, definitely not as uh, as easy as... Uh, I don't know how he played in XR, but yeah. Uh, he, he had, I mean, he was also like not really that great, but he had way more stupid shit. Yeah. Way, way more stupid shit. Yeah, he seems like, in this game, he seems fair, to be honest. Like, he's one of the rare characters. Well, I know that you hate this matchup because, obviously, it's not in favor of, uh, of Leo. But uh, I feel like, for, uh, out of all of the bullshit that is currently present in, in Strive, I think that Axel is, is pretty fair, like, generally speaking. I, 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 still, I still do think that, too. I mean, like, even if my character is not really, like, does not deal with the Axel tools very well, I still think that Axel is, like, pretty... Pretty okay compared like to a lot of other characters. Yeah, definitely, as well, definitely. To be honest with you, almost died right there. Whew, that's close. Nice. No. Okay, oh, and he got the conversion. That was sick. He got the conversion. Good stuff from L. Oh, he puts another one on the board. Morius-san, he's back on track, man. Here we go. We have a match. Okay, and again, just like exactly the same pattern as, as like the the, the the match before. Uh, the previous match, yeah. Exactly. Okay, oh, Bandit Breaker in your face. Stay down. Okay, you can see uh, Morio being a little bit more passive this time around, but for uh, for good reasons, I think. But yeah, right now, nah, it got oh, forcefully gonna, opened uh, up. Yeah, this is gonna really I dare. Oh, the bended revolver. Ah, yeah, and just went straight and tried to grab him this time around. Didn't go as expected and grab. Ah, the bended bringer, yeah. Bended bringer is doing the work. Doing some good work right there. Good stuff. Oh, just running straight towards him, man. No fear. God, oh my god. And just like relentlessly. 5S, man. Because okay. Axel actually cannot really deal with it well at that range, to be honest with you. Yeah, like, he, he doesn't have any fast though. Fast enough, yeah. yeah. Mm, didn't get the whiff punish though, unfortunately. Now it's counter hit, but Ooh, he doesn't nice. come with it. Nice snipe. Ooh, that was a pretty nice snipe. Yeah. Bended bringer, no. 
Oh no. Oh, very nice contest right there. Yep. Good scramble. And he grabbed him. Good stuff from <laughs> Moriu. <laughs> that was really good. It was. It was. Uh, and the Bandit Breaker too. Yeah, the, you can see Moriu San has problems dealing with this, but. Actually, yeah. Goku did correctly right now. Bandit Breaker again. Oh, and the Moyo! Oh, bye yeah, bye, Moriu uh, That was so. Uh, but it's okay. Yeah, it's that bad. was a fight to the star. What is that? Okay, oops, and this is the winner's final, actually, yeah. Let me update this as well, I forgot to update it. Winner's final <clears throat> Okay, this time this is gonna be a run back. Last time, player was sent to the losers by Sunlight and then unfortunately lost to Cat King. So this is gonna be uh, his time to get his revenge right now. Let's see how it goes. Oh, God. There you go, big start right from the start. Yeah. <laughs> Sunlight hates Bended Bringer. <laughs> he freaking hates this move. So here we go, big wall break from player, and immediately the DP from Sunlight gonna get huge damage. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to finish it correctly. Wow, this is really explosive. Holy shit, this is so Damn. explosive. It was pretty crazy. And Good stuff from player. Nice recognition. Yeah, nice recognition from player. As soon as he saw the uh, rage, uh, like the blood rage, he just like backed away to give it time to explode and then he went in for the uh, kill blow. Definitely. But uh, again, like Sunlight is uh, reciprocating with a pretty explosive round from uh, on his own. And here we go, nice recognition, nice grab. Uh, this is not gonna be it, unfortunately. Oh, he tried to, uh, he tried like to get that recovery, but unfortunately he didn't manage to. Now, he is in the corner, he has been pummeled, nice. Blue RC to go for the mix-up, maybe the burst is gonna come soon? No, still not, okay, here we go, we're gonna get the wall break into the hall now down. What is it gonna be? What's gonna be the mix-up? Nice, jump into... The uh, yellow RC Ooh, to give him some and two bars for you. Yeah. Oh, and just a wild throw. The Roman cancel into the wild throw. Nice stuff from player. Puts one on the board. Very convincingly right there. He's definitely uh, he's definitely heated up by the fact that uh, Sunlight put him in the loser's bracket previously. Definitely here for the win. Let's see how it goes. That like setup with the purple RC, you can like mash out of it, right? Um, I, I don't think so. No, no you, you can't mash out of it. No. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. As you can see, Sunlight has a lot of bars right now. Yeah, if he, if he, yeah, if he uses too many special attacks, he's gonna be in blood rage right now. Okay, he's going a little bit under though, so uh, that's cool for him. Here we go. He's getting pummeled in the corner though. He just Nice fuzzy this block right there from Yeah, nice fuzzy block. Very, very good. Here we go. Command. The command grab. Yeah. And the punish on the on the bandit bringer right there. Good stuff from Sunlight Gun. Take this round right here. He wanted. I think he wanted to go for the super to just uh, nullify the burst for Kureya uh, completely and uh, get the round for himself. It was really, really good. Oh, the bad the burst, burst from player right there and the bad DP right there. This is gonna be huge. Yeah. Huge yeah, damage right here, and so boom! Mm. Yeah, Sunlight right now is pretty much in the lead in uh, this match. He really dealt pretty well with what player threw at him. Okay, now Perea has to take the risks, but Sunlight doesn't have to, he just has to chill and throw out some pokes <laughs> from time to time. And exactly. that is gonna be it. Nice patience from Sunlight, really just waiting for player to, to hang himself, actually. Good stuff from him. Had the perfect reads. Okay, now <laughs> both are just like testing the that terrain was a, a little bit. That was a very, very dangerous bended bring right there. And yeah. just like this, yeah, Sunlight really just pummeling player, preventing him from getting out of oh, the, the corner. Really and yeah, immediately, he oh, oh. oh, unfortunately he dropped, but still didn't really matter. Mm. He managed just to get the comfort. Mm. Anyways, for the final blow, here we go. Sunlight is extremely dominating. I think in the past, what, four or five tournaments that I commentated, he just was amazing at most of the matches that he played. Very, very good job. Nice mix up there to like just mix it up with the with the grab. Pretty good job. Here we go. Okay, nice grab. Uh, he 
Ooh, yeah, what a cross up. There, or, or super, uh, yeah. Pretty good cross up. Even though he like didn't manage to convert it, he was still like he put Sunlight in the corner, but that doesn't matter because Sunlight mm. right now hits him with a command grab, hits him with the normal grab, gets the RC, gets the OTG, this is this is like pretty dire, but don't forget about the blood rage. These Ooh, big Banner Bringer right there. In the corner. Yeah, very, very good Banner Bringer. He manages to snipe the burst out. Here we go. He's still in the corner though. He has ah, to be at the end. Yeah, yeah, that was way too obvious of a burst, unfortunately. Yeah. For Nice but, stuff uh, from Sunlight, very freaking dominating right now. Like, shutting off yeah. every single option from player, preventing him from even moving. From the uh, from from the corner, yeah, it's very nice stuff. He's really keeping an eye on his uh, blood gauge as well, not overextending, making sure that he doesn't end up uh, blood raging because this is what cost him a lot of uh, of matches in previous tournaments. So yeah, no, definitely something like being aware of uh, of uh, plenty of stuff right there. Very nice stuff. Right oh, there. nice. <clears throat> and just like this, he doesn't have any blood rage anymore. You're gonna be able to abuse, uh, use it accordingly. Very nice stuff. Yeah, this is this is death. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, good stuff. Nice conversion. And just like this, we're on match point. Actually, here wow. we go. That was really fast. That wow, really really catches fast. the back dash. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, finally punish on the two HS right there. Yeah. Okay, big Fafnir right there. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, this is gonna do a lot of damage. Uh, okay, we go into the super uh, hard knockdown. Is he gonna go high, low, or grab? He's gonna decide to go for high. Very nice back dash from uh, Sunlight, but unfortunately, that's not gonna be enough. At least, Pereira gets to fight for his life right exactly. now against this round. Ooh, very nice Bandit Breaker to delay his fall. Which helped him punish the, uh, well, basically the attempt of anti-airing from Sunlight right there. Very nice use of his 6P from Ghost. Really yeah, not afraid of it. just, you know, sticking it at, out like in the open. Like, very nice stuff from him. Oh, here we go. Mix up time. Ah, he wasn't able to convert. Okay. Oh, and overlay two Quake 2. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, and the Bandit Breaker. Oh, with my very nice XP. <laughs> good job. He's on point with his entires. He's actually pretty good at that. Okay, he's throwing a little bit of preemptive uh, normals out there. He's trying to push. Look by the Pereira in the corner again. But, yeah, unfortunately, Pereira really has an issue to deal with this preemptive folks that uh, Sunlight is putting on. But he manages to actually find mm, an big, opening. Put Sunlight in the corner. Big damage. Yeah. Big damage. Is it gonna oh. be damage? No, no, quiet, 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 quiet. But it's okay, it worked, but I don't understand what you tried to do. I really I don't think, understand I what you tried to do. I mm. think he was waiting for the recovery so he would grab him out of Probably. the recovery. Probably. But that was I really, really so. dangerous. That was so dangerous yeah. what he did right there. But eventually it worked in his favor since it caused a, a scramble and and yeah. he was able to well to, to, to use it to his favor, his advantage. Ooh, big shimmy right there. Unfortunately, he gets bursted out of the combo. Now Sunlight is back again. Ah, uh, this is gonna be blood rage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt like a mother humper. Yeah, that was a big punish with it. Oh, and the DP. Okay. Hello, sure. And just like this, player is on match point, actually. Okay. It looked so one-sided at some point of this match, but actually, players, is he brought it back, man. Look at this. Oh, yeah, he's getting everything correct right now. Good stuff. Yeah. Mm. Very, very good. Right now, Sunlight is, for the first time in this tournament, a little bit in a dire situation. And, and yeah, he, takes, he takes it. Damn, good stuff from... Gonna be, uh, um, well, it's going to be an opportunity for him to get back at Sunlight for for the slight that Sunlight did to him. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Oh, okay. Early start with a 5k right there to try to prevent Sunlight, uh, um, Takashi from running towards him. Okay, very uh, safe jump right there. Okay, now we can see Sunlight hmm. being a little bit more in control. I think maybe the warm-up that he had against today actually helped him out in the long run. 
so yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, and this is gonna be a big counter right there. Okay, he decides to actually use his uh, his uh, his bar to extend the combo. I don't really know if it was a good idea. We'll see. But... Okay, very big counter right there. It's not gonna kill, but it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Mm. You're talking about Nagoyuki here, so uh, yeah. never mind. He has Why a huge health pull now. Oh, here you go. First round goes to Takashi. Okay, oops. Oh, okay, ooh, the the, oh, the call out on the, the command grab right there. Good stuff from Takashi. <clears throat> okay, ooh, very that anti-air, nice very nice. Control, oh. yeah. Into the wall carry combo, into the wall break. I don't know what happened there. Okay, yeah, so now he gets reversed. Ooh. Ah, and he got grabbed. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Nevertheless, he got grabbed. Oh, and the big 2 HF, this is gonna be it. Yeah, this is gonna be it. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be completely it. Good stuff. Okay, nice grab coming on from Sunlight. I think he wants to take his revenge on the. Soul player that came out of today at this point. Here we oh, go. Definitely. He's trying to bubble him in the corner. He's trying to keep the pressure on, but unfortunately he gets opened up and forced to first to keep the positional advantage. Still didn't matter. Here we go now. Takashi is like pushing him against the wall again. Nice grab once again. He's maybe trying to go for the scramble. No, nice to age to get it. double oh, uh, yeah, this cool. is this is putting people so much out. It's throwing them off so much, like the double fuku. And yeah. yeah, I hope he didn't press any button. He didn't. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, Still I would have. Yeah, nice burst. I think like he didn't really have a choice, and the big six spear right there to prevent him from continuing his onslaught. And Takashi caught onto the fuku right there. Like this is yeah, something uh, that even player didn't really uh, do up until now. So very nice stuff from him. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, he bent the house, but. Yeah, no punish on the DP, but still, uh, Sunlight takes the first uh, match. Let's see how I mean, it goes. He didn't for the 5k, but it was really lackluster. He could have killed with anything else, I think. Okay, Ooh, the double fuku. Yep. Okay, at least like Reyna Takashi is not letting him get away with the double fuku. And maybe Sunlight is a little bit destabilized by that, because that's what he has been doing the entire match. Careful Definitely. for the blood rage, careful for the blood rage, okay, you're still in safe levels right now, not anymore, really be careful, but still manages to keep on the pressure in the corner. Now Takashi is out of the corner, but he's still... Oh, nice counter hit, very nice purple RC. Oh, no, and he drops the combo, and you're, you're dead. Oh, or not, actually. Nice. Ooh, the back nice dash. dash, that back dash, oh, and he resets. Ah, uh, the reset with the wild throw right there. Cheeky Takashi steals the last round, very nice stuff. Okay, here we go. Ah, good, ça va très bien, Cybercat, j'espère que toi aussi. Ah, bla, here we go. From sunlight, oh, unfortunately, he drops the last hit. But that doesn't really matter. He Damn. still has this in the bag, yeah. <laughs> the statement from sunlight right there, perfect. <laughs> okay, here we go, sunlight is still in the lead. Uh, puts immediately Takashi in the corner. Takashi tries to get away, but that is not going to be possible. Fuku to get in, here we go, and oh, he, did he drop the combo there? I think he dropped, right? Oh, okay, get two HS whiffed right there. It wasn't, po I think it was punished, actually. Oh, the two yeah. HS goes through the, 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 how do you call it? I've read this name. Gunflame. Gunflame. Exactly, the gunflame, thank you. <laughs> This shit we go, nice vortex to get in, but unfortunately he grabs the combo now, uh, Sunlight, worst case scenario, has the burst, he manages to get the counter hit double touch, and that is gonna be it. OTG Sunlight for the win. Solid. Mm -mm. Pretty, pretty solid still, even though he was like a little bit in the blender at the beginning of this match. But uh, here we go again. Nice throw, nice backdash to get away. But 6P immediately. 
which is the shut the fuck up button. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nice back dash, but gets called out. Nice grab again for the punish. And oh, okay, nice tech. This time from Takashi, nice recognition of the desk. He manages to push himself away from the corner and reset the position. Now, uh, Sunlight is unfortunately in the corner. He still has a burst. He still can use it any time now. Uh, Blood Rage is something to really be conscious about right now. Here we go. Takashi is really trying to pull more as much as possible on his defense. Okay. Oh, uh, and the back dash. <laughs> nice back dash. That backdash was godlike, and just like this, we're on match point for Ghost. Let's see how it goes. And here he goes, sh sh short dead, or how do you say it? Slowly but surely, is courting Takashi in the corner. But just, yeah, Takashi is definitely not having any of this. Really bound to at least take this match. He doesn't want to go, doesn't want to lose. Here you go, you can see Ghosting fishing for these for these uh, attempts of, of Takashi to try to. Yeah, to close the uh. Ooh, nice double kill again into the command grab. Here we go. Turbilon, Turbilon. Ooh, nice call out on the back dash, but unfortunately he doesn't, he doesn't manage to confirm there. Still, Sunlight is doing such a really good job, but as soon as I say that, now he is being put in a pretty difficult situation. He tried to go a little bit aggressive there, but unfortunately it didn't work out, and Takashi manages to get this round. Okay, no follow-up on the Shizuriyuki, and the burst bait right there, wonderfully done by Sunlight. He's in a very good situation, forcing Takashi to stay in the corner by using his own burst. Okay, just like this, the Bandit Bringer punished accordingly, beautifully well by Sunlight. Big Wasuda Yuki right there is gonna get the Okizeme. Is he gonna do double Fukio? No double Fukio this time around. Okay, yeah, he was fishing for the DP and of course the DP came afterwards. Ah, uh, no punish on the Bandit Bringer unfortunately, but yeah, really, uh, yeah, yeah, it was, uh, nice was in the uh, chip kill, uh, in the chip. Yeah, thank you, right? Yeah, thank you. 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 Grand final, actually. Okay, here we go. Sunlight, will he be able to get his revenge on Perea? Perea immediately bursts out and is... Ooh, nice back dash to uh, avoid the grab. Now Sunlight is in the leading position, but he uh, lets Perea get away. Now he's being put in the corner. Nice grab. Very, very nice meaty there. He's trying like to uh, maybe put in a little bit of frame trap pressure on Sunlight, but that didn't matter because Sunlight manages to get out of the corner. Now they're both in mid-screen. Sunlight, very, very nice whiff punish there. Uh, FD to get Sunlight away from him, but that also didn't matter. Sunlight is just going in over and over again. Very, very nice conversion. Wow, what this happened? This is gonna be it. Player who did the fake uh, the fake gun flame right there? I don't really understand why. Yeah. Unfortunate. Okay, very nice whiff. Uh, oh, very very nice punish on the whiff 2 HS right there. Uh, okay. Oh uh, yeah, immediately get six speed man. Yeah, it's not going. Yeah, definitely. I'm not letting you jump on me. I refuse. Nice stuff from. Oh nice. He knew mm. that he was gonna go for the 2H, so he just like backed right away to be able to go in and get, uh, get the punish on the 2H. Right now, Sunlight is a little bit scared of like pushing any buttons. Nice 2D, nice sweep on that. Ooh, oh, and the whiff nice. grab! This is gonna kill. Good stuff from player. One round apiece. This is an explosive grand finals right there. Yeah, oh, he's okay. getting a little bit in his groove. Nice recognition for the grab. Uh, Pereira was trying to be a little bit cheeky over there. Okay, he goes for the uh, for the uh, Beyblade. Here we go, nice 6P. He's really poking more and more with the 6P. Ah, this is gonna be he death. Yeah. To oh, this would have been death, yeah. actually. Too bad. Yeah, this would have been death, yeah. Oh, and yeah, 6 Ooh, HS. Unfortunately. Should we kill to Okay, 
Hey, first game for Sunlight. Uh, trying to establish a little bit more dominance than uh, he did in the winners' finals. But uh, Pereira, I'm pretty sure, is not gonna let uh, himself be blown out that easily. Here we go. Pereira is unfortunately right now in the corner, but he is trying to stand his ground and find any way to get out, which he manages to find. As you can see, Sunlight is really just pressing normal after normal to try to. Uh, uh, prevent Perea from advancing, but that didn't matter. He gets caught by two counter hits. Now he is in the corner, even though he just managed to get away from it because Perea just let down the pressure, ran into far S, ran into four far S again, but he manages to uh, be caught by uh, Nagori into 6P. Now, Sunlight is in the offense, but he whiffs his command grab. He still manages to cancel and go into the normal uh, grab. Now, right now, his health is going entirely down. He is in a pretty bad situation, but that didn't matter because he manages to catch Perea immediately. Very, very good job. Very nice resource management as well from uh, Sunlight. Back dash to try to avoid something. He manages to get away from the corner. 5HS, 5HS to put some distance in and push him slowly in the corner. Nice read on the burst, very good. But he gets DP'd, gets opened by Fastbury. Nice conversion from the normal grab. He manages to break the wall. That's not going to be a lot of damage because the starter was. Uh, was a grab, but it is okay. He still manages to find the counter hit wow. into the super, and that is gonna, gonna do. It. Damn, sunlight really bent on revenge right there. Puts a second match on the on the. Another set to go. If he does. This all goes badly, so. So I think he's still in a pretty okay position as long as he's mentally strong enough to be able to dissociate from uh, from a potential reset. Okay, here we go. Sunlight is just playing chill right now a little bit. Very nice, uh, very nice tech on the grab. Drea manages to get the whip punish on the 2H. He's really been on point on those whip punishes, man. It's been incredible. Ooh, wow, that Fukio, man. That Fukio was so <laughs> cheeky. Good stuff. Yeah, this nice is the position switch. that, this is the position yeah. that player does not want to be in right there. This one. Absolutely. Oh, manages to find the hit on the instant air dash. Uh, yelling RC to calm things a little bit. Vortex, he was fishing for the burst right there, but I don't think that uh, Sunlight is gonna give it to him. Just had two press, 5k once, and that would be the round run for Sunlight. Okay, uh, reset point. Yeah, exactly. We're on reset point right there, so if. If uh, if player loses this one, we are well. The bracket will be reset. Yeah, then ballot leg. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you can see that. You can definitely see that. Uh, he wants it. He definitely wants it. Yeah, he's he's seeing like a little bit of an advantage, and he's like just pushing it all the way through. Mm. He's been like really dominant right now, to be honest with you. Especially compared to the first set that they had in uh, winners. But uh, Pereira is not. Uh, what happened? He's not just gonna let himself <laughs> be put in that type of situation. He's still gonna fight back. Ooh, and just like this, we have a yeah. bracket reset. Three, two, zero for Sunlight. You, uh, in the set, we'll see how it's gonna be. Exactly. Okay, so this time around, player really not letting. Uh, you know, um, Sunlight just smoldering him without doing anything in return. Ah, but still, this one, he got picked up right there and was forced to burst. Okay, let's see if he's gonna get the adjustment. Okay, oh, no punish. Unfortunately, oh, couldn't punish the, uh, couldn't punish the 2HS. The 2HS is really yeah. being his bane right there. Mm. Even though he... Like, usually he manages to win punish them pretty well, but at that distance, I don't think he deals with it that well. Here we go, he is in the event. No, he's very good. Very, very good conversion from Pereira. Oh, but he gets thrown. Now he is gonna be a little bit in the blender. Oof, okay. Ooh, and the DP. That was a get off of me DP right there. You yeah. could feel the rage in it. 
but unfortunately he gets hit. Good stuff. Ooh, uh, and the whiff 2k. There's a fuck gambler. Pretty dominant right now. Unfortunately, Pure is really not managing to uh, reassess the situation and get back into it. Uh, and you can see that he's been like missing a few things, a few key things in this matchup right now. Okay, here we go. Nice punish on the 2HS yeah. again. Pure has been very consistent on it, but ah, uh, yeah. Still. It doesn't matter a little bit because that's the only thing that he's been managing to get some mileage on. And maybe he will be able to, unfortunately. Uh, this is his needy, and he is back at square one. Oh, uh, just grabbed. Yeah, this, this is a little mm. bit rough for This is rough, Korea, yeah. Unfortunately. Has, yeah, he can't, like, he can't establish his game. It's crazy. Ooh, okay, nice 2S right there to punish the uh, 6 speed. Uh, okay, very nice run up to grab and gets grab himself. Yeah, he's been missing a lot of his movies or whatever he, or he wants to do, he's been really missing them. And every time he has a tiny bit of momentum, he gets like thrown away out of it. And yeah, hmm. he's... Uh, He's been losing that momentum every single time. Okay, Ooh, here we go. In the oh, in the Oh, the grab. Wow, that was really ballsy from Sunlight. The nice recognition about the uh, distance where he could have grabbed that. Okay, here we go. Today is really... Oh, he finds the opening. This is Ooh, probably... And he tilted. It. Nice. Sunlight's really strong. It's really strong. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. He manages to find an opening with a 6S uh, and manages to carry nobody here in the corner, but nice back dash and the throw Ooh. to... Do <laughs> not jump on me. Yeah, very good air there. And with the full conversion. But oh, what? Can't. How did the DP not connect right there? I have no idea either. Okay, oh, and gets grabbed. Oh, and gets DP'd. Oh my god! <gasps> the triple read! That was a triple read right there. Damn! Yeah, you can see, you can see Pereira right now, like, crumbling and being extremely impatient. And doing things yeah. that he didn't need to do. Like, he didn't even, like, DP on Wake Up that much, but... As you can see, he's been like doing them more and yeah. more. Yeah, player's uh, definitely getting hot right there. Yeah. Oh, nice whiff punish. He's still he's still on point with the whiff punish. I think this is like the best whiff punish player that I've seen in the tournament so far. To be honest with you. Agreed. Okay, here's a oh, nice play blade counter here. That's gonna lead Perea in the corner. Maybe Perea is still gonna be able to get the. Ooh, uh, just there. like this, he gets two. Yep. Tension ball, but I uh, wasn't able to put them in in use so player takes one match right there we have a match good stuff okay maybe that's gonna put like a little bit more uh, enthusiasm to play and get get him back like in a better mental uh mental state but okay here we go sunlight manages to burst immediately nice grab oh yeah no punish though on the dp Pretty good punish from Pereira, nice 6S, manages to put uh, another Yuki in the corner. Okay, this is gonna be a lot of damage into the wall break. No, no wall break. Ooh, and the fake it. out right there, good yeah. stuff. Very, very good, very, yep. very good. The 5k is such a good answer for Beyblade, yeah, I, I, I concur, yeah. It's really a good answer for it. Well, three framers in, in general are very good answers for Beyblade. You're guaranteed to, to hit before he does, unless he does a DP, of course. Uh, unless he cancels into DP. Nice. Ooh, and the DP six, six, wake six. up right there. Okay, yeah. we can see a little bit more signs of life from player. Trying to... Like, yeah. Being a lot more patient, being a lot more considered. I think he's back on track right now. Hopefully, we'll see. But yeah, Sunlight is also very, very... Uh, Playing slow and like not trying to 
rush things and this Okay, he manages to get away with this situation. Ooh, and he yeah, caught the Fukio as well. Let's nice check. Let's nice check on the Fukio. Very, that was pretty good. good. And player just like okay. this takes the advantage. Nice stuff. Okay. Potential, uh, potential last match for Pereira if he manages to uh, uh, to keep this going. Very good conversion from Sunlight. Okay, Pereira with the uh, uh, Benet Ringer. Uh, is it Benet Revolver? I forget. Uh, anyways. Ooh, Here and just there Very fishing nice with the 2S and finally yeah. caught something. Wasn't enough to actually convert off of it, but yeah, it's still better than nothing. Okay, we got a nice whiff punish right there. Clear has been really on point with the whiff punish all through the the the, 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 the tournament. Oh, and this oh, should do. No, oh. Actually, no, it's not gonna do. Yeah, it's not gonna do. He didn't want to break the wall with uh, with his uh, DP, I think that's why he went for like a little bit of extension. But unfortunately, that didn't matter now. Jeez. Yeah, and just no like this, we're on match point for players. player. Let's see how it goes. Here we go. Player actually manages to find the first hit. <laughs> and that would finish yeah, again on the punish. 2S, man. Yeah, he, he almost never failed to punish that. It's... <laughs> It's actually pretty Ooh, and the bended bringer to delay his fall. Oh, this okay, is gonna be yeah, hard. Ah, uh, yeah, is really, really in the lead right now. But so definitely, he, he can feel himself. Yeah, definitely can feel himself. Yeah. Oh, and just walk up straight in five H S and just like this, player is deep.